at the MCG, it's umpire Don Jolly, the man of the moment in white, bouncing the ball, starting the preliminary final between Carlton and St Kilda, Nichols at Carlton on the toss, and elected a kick with the very strong breeze down to the Richmond end. But the first free kick of the match goes to Minot of St Kilda, a big long kick up forward, they fly high, down it comes here, but a free kick is going to where? Green. Green of St Kilda came out with the ball, and he would be no more than 50 yards out, 45 to 50 yards out, directly in front, kicking to the scoreboard end of the MCG. Up comes Barry Breen. Puts it on its way, it's offline. One point result. Right, Butch Gale, what moves have uh, transpired out there? Kevin Hall has gone to fall back for Carlton. Uh, Gould has gone out onto the halfback flank, and that's the only really major change of the match. Griffiths is on uh, Sid Jackson, a man who's been in the news all this week here in Melbourne. The kick out from Hall, it's a good one too, to the member stand flank. The ball taken by Moran, a long hand pass intercepted, however, by Gallagher of Carlton. Gallagher into the towards the centre of the MCG. Nobody able to take it. Oh, O'Day comes through hard there, tangles with Crane. Crane of Carlton comes out with the ball. A long hand pass by Crane over towards Gould. Gould has it, he's tackled by Minot. Gould gets his kick into the half forward flank on that outer side, close to the boundary. Over she goes, and there'll be a throw in. Throughout the final series, of course, as usual, comment from Alan Butchgale and uh, George. Joining us at our usual position, Mr. Football himself, Ted Whitten, your comment, Teddy. Well, it's a very uh, quick opening, Mike, very fast opening, and umpire Jolly's right on the ball, right from the very first bounce. Why not? His second free kick for the match, and we've only been playing uh, seconds into it. In fact, uh, one and a half minutes. Michael, another change here. McIntosh is on the ball, and Pace is going to set a half forward. Oh, it's Mackay. Grand play. Mackay in there, Silvani. Over the top of the ball, he'll have to ball it up. Uh, he's given a free. Silvani to take it, and he's at centre half back. Kicks into the centre of the ground. Oh, Calvin O'Neill came through to let Jackson in. Jackson short passes to Jezelenko. Jezelenko streaking out, looks for the goal. A big kick, but it's going to drop short into the pocket. Oh, Lily! Could have been his mark. Yes, he's paying. Oh, it. he's got to pay it. It's a strong mark, too, Mike. I'll tell you what, it's a nice bright opening. Yes. No doubt in your mind about the mark, Teddy. Yes, I'd pay the mark. John Lilly of St Kilda, he'll kick to the outer flank, there she goes, it's on its way, the wind holds it up a bit, the big men set themselves, they fly high, big nick, no mark however, had the opportunity, there they go, stacks on the mill, there'll be a ball up, a ball up, umpire Don Jolly in the half forward flank for Carlton on the outer side, Nick taps it down beautifully to Silvani, Silvani hooks it around, Manzi intercepts there but he can't break clear with the ball, through they come, over they go too, a long hand pass by Quirk, taken by Crosswell, intercepted by O'Day, but a free kick is going to Crosswell. Too down, high, Teddy. Down the shoulder, mate. Crosswell and Carlton. It's very nervous, but Jolly is right in position to pick these frees up. Crosswell, 55 yards out, if that, let's say 50 yards out, directly in front, kick to the Richmond end, it's on its way, he'll get the distance all right, but accuracy is found wanting. One behind results. Both One behind sides, each. Both sides into attack very quickly, Butch, which just goes to mm. prove that scores can be uh, kicked either into the ground. Butch, they give me the feeling, you being a big fella yourself may appreciate this better, of two heavyweight boxers feeling each other out. Yeah, that's about it, Michael, honestly. Well, a good description here. Very nervous opening, too. Kick into the centre. Chance there for Jackson. Silvani down to McIntosh. McIntosh grab. Taken away by Moran. Kick to uh, Griffiths, I beg your pardon. Up towards the half forward flank. Still coming out. Chance for Stephen Ray. He gets it booked nicely. Goes around that boundary line. Straight in towards goal. Detrich is in there. Gets one hand to it. Down it comes to Barry Lawrence. Lawrence gets oh, around on the right foot. Beautiful play. And slams a shot at goal, but it'll be one point. Well, he nice. moves well, Teddy. Very elusive. That was a nice piece of football. Well, a nice piece of football by young Ray also, Mike. Good to see Barry Lawrence uh, firing so well early. Came over here with an enormous reputation last year, as you remember. A lot of personal problems, uh, with his wife not being well. Now she's well and Barry's playing great football. Good luck to them both. A kick out from Kevin Hall. He alters uh, his uh, idea this time. It goes to the outer flank. Taken by Crane. Crane is bundled over and comes Moran there. A kick off the ground by Minot. There's a free kick going uh, to Moran. Moran of St Kilda. Well, I didn't pick that one up, Mike. Well, well, right in the back. Was well behind the play, too. Lawrence leading. 
Ball sticking close to him. Moran goes for the long one. It's a bad kick though, and it's going to be marked by Stewart. Oh, how dangerous is this fella? Mal care on Stewart, and he'll have his hands full on, on the day. Not a bad effort, a dual Brownlow medalist. Won both Brownlow medals in the centre for St Kilda. A magnificent player, this fellow. And he would be only about 35 yards out. He's on an angle, as you can see. Beautiful camera angle for us. Let's see what he does with it. It's a left footer. Oh, it's up the side, into the pocket. Up they go. Crossbow is there. Crossbow for Smith comes in for St Kilda. Oh, He's dragged to the ground. A headlock. Jolly, cool and calm, decides he'll bounce. Very popular umpire, Don Jolly, and players treat him with a great deal of respect. A bounce right in the uh, forward pocket there for the Saints. Wait runs into trouble. Picked up by Gallagher. Wait will get it too high. There's big Carl Dittrich, number 10 for St Kilda. Wait, big crowd here. Two pretty fiery temper temperaments there, Michael, in Wait and Dittrich. There's the yes. kick going out towards the flank. Oh, an easy mark. He made it hard, though. <laughs> yes, he made it hard, Robertson, but he's played on now. Right out towards the centre wing. Silvani in there, punched away by O'Day. Down it comes to Colling. Colling hand passes wildly. Again over to O'Day, who picks up nicely. He's moving well. The kick goes into the centre. Quirk in good position. Oh, yes. No, no, play it's good cool play on. And it's a scramble of players. Very nervous, as you can see. Pays has the ball. The free kick going Carlton's way to Mulcair. Mulcair now from centre half back takes his kick right down towards centre half four. They fly high. Two St Kilda players in there. Now comes Daryl Griffiths, who uh, went off early in the first semi final, as you'll remember. An enormous kick down forward. Big Carl is there. In comes Barry Gill for Carlton. And over the line she goes. There'll be a throw in midway between the forward pocket for St Kilda and half forward flank on the member stand well, side. There'll be a bit of fireworks here. Two biffs. Up they go. Jones and Dittrich. Jones will get the free kick. Big Carl says, what for? Out to the half back flank on the member stand side. Oh, Quirk almost an enormous mark there. But it's going down to St Kilda's forward pocket on the member stand side. Crossbull comes in. All too late, there'll be a throw in. Michael, that wind is playing havoc with the ball there. Did you notice the way it swirled there right in front of the member stand? Up they go. Ditrich and Jones. Ditrich gets in front on this occasion. Jones gets a free kick. It's going the other way again, Mike. Why do you think, Teddy? I couldn't pick that one because Ditrich was in front. A short one from Jones to Gallagher, it comes off. It's well snaffled there by Ross Smith. Yeah, no advantage whatsoever in that kick. They're playing the short game. There's a short one to Peter Jones who marks again. Handballs oh, over play. to Croswell. Croswell goes down the middle of the ground looking for Crane who misjudges the flight of the ball. Stewie trots there. Silvani picks up. Handballs back to Croswell. Croswell goes for the big kick up to the goal square. Jesselinko and Murray. Jesselinko! He's got the mark, but play on is called by the umpire. Oh, there's a heap of players there. A free kick should be picked up here to Cowboy Neal. Yes. Or is it Colling? Uh, Colling. Colling. So it. kill the back pocket player. Lily. Lily, I should say. Sorry, Mike. Lily takes it now. He comes along the member stand flank. He's looking for Daryl Griffiths. Griffiths have been under the ball. The wind playing havoc, as we pointed out. Griffiths gets his kick. He gets a push in the back. And he'll pay it, Mike. He's played the free kick up the ground. Yes, Jackson pushed him right in the back after he had delivered the ball. Taken by Ian Stewart. Stewart now tries to work it in towards centre-half forward. It's forced out to the flank on the member stand side. Through they come. Crossbull losing everything at the moment. A long hand pass to Barry Gill. Gill in a bit of trouble. Gets it back oh, in the high. He oh, got one high from Dittrich. And he's picked it up. It's a short one, gun down to Gallagher. Gallagher misjudged the flight of the ball. Coming out is Walls. Wall to his left foot. Jackson in hot pursuit now. He's in open territory. Swings on his left boot to Jezalinko. They fly, but misjudges the flight of the ball. Coming through is McIntosh. Oh, he swings right around the open face of goal. Goes for the short kick. Out oh, to the centre wing play. position where Jimmy O'Day is out there, but over the boundary Good line. Play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good did it well. Something significant. We've been playing... Uh, Nine and a half minutes into the first quarter, and uh, Carl has had three, Carl Dittrich, three uh, free kicks given against him. It's over the boundary line out there, don't worry. Actually, I That's think right. Jolly's, Jolly's being a bit tough on him. 
Well, that's all. I made comment there. You can work it out for yourselves. There's Carl again in front of Big Nichols. Down it comes to O'Day. O'Day coming back from injury. Gets it across to Cowboy Neal of St Kilda. The Cowboy over the centre. Up towards centre half foot. A good mark taken by Mackay. Over to Crosswell. Crosswell the goal. It's over his head. Through comes Moran of St Kilda. Picked up by Manzi of St Kilda. Manzi wide to the wing position on the outer side. Jones misses it. Taken by Barry Breen. Green of St Kilda, a high flatter up forward. Lawrence is in the middle, couldn't get to it. Here's a go now, taken here by uh, Ray. Ray gets it across to Pays, Pays, right up forward, but over the line she goes. Both defences playing well, Michael, very tight. Yes, it's a Could battle a of defences. Game last week there, Ted. At the state, this stage, yes. Up they go, Jones jostles. Could have been paid a free kick. Mackay has it. Hand passes to Gill. Gill clears, and he's playing very well. The kick going in towards the centre wing position. Dittrich in there. Couldn't hold it. Down to Neil. Neil snaps up. Crashes his way through. Gets a left foot kick out towards the flank. Barry Breen in wonderful position there. Gill tackles it. Oh! And it's a free to Breen. Now he's played on. And it's to Trot. Trot kicks it goal. Is that on the full, Butch? Out of bounds on the full, and it deserves better. Comment from Butch Gale. Ted Whitten, what do you think of it? Very fast, Mike. I agree with Butcher. Battle of defences at this stage. Oh, they're still pretty tough. White. Big crowd here. Taking too. his kick from the back pocket on the member stand side. Kicks out. No mark. It's over the line. Another throw in on St Kilda's half forward flank on the member stand side. The throw in. The players move in. Ditch goes up there with Jones. Jones draws from the free kick again, but Jelly didn't fall for it. Taken by David Mackay. He forces it to the weak position on the member stand side. Griffiths comes through like a train there. But the ball goes to Moran. Moran of St Kilda gets around beautifully. Kicks down towards ten and a half forward. Green is there with Gould. Taken by Smith waiting for the crumbs. Rossi Smith, the St Kilda captain, gets it up towards Lawrence. Lawrence in a bit of trouble. Through comes Stewart there. But the ball is taken by Smith once again. He's run to the ground by Thornley. Picked up by Gould of Carlton. Gould into the centre. Savani's right in there. Taps it across to Crane of Carlton. Crane in a bit of trouble, a left footer now by Crane. Down towards centre half forward. No marker with a play on Silvani there. Silvani a short one to Jackson who's got away. Jackson tries to get around. Hand pass here to Desilenko. He's unloaded Ooh. by Colling. And Jackson's still there. Pops it hard, could have done it too high, Jackson. I think Jackson's free kick might. Too high. Yes, it looked that we had a very good shot of that. And while it was a little technical, the free kick was there. It was the obvious. They'll play the obvious. Scores are two points in Kilda, one point Carlton, and Jackson now on an angle. What is he? As you can see, I'd be 30 yards out. Jackson coming up the kick and the crowd. Very excited at this stage. Look at that kick going in towards goal. It's offline and one point. Scores are even. Yes, that breeze is still very choppy. Yeah. You can see they're having difficulty in trying to uh, judge it. 13 minutes into the first quarter of the preliminary final here at the MCG. And not a goal has been scored by either St Kilda or Carlton. Scored. Bobby Murray. Scores are going to be hard to get today, Michael, the way this game's opened up. Murray kicking out from the Richmond end. Had a miserable day the last time he played on Jesse Link over this fellow. Such a great player. He'll fight back. Crosswell now. Boy, is he fighting back today. Crosswell down forward. And Murray showing his usual great anticipation. Came out and met that ball on the full. Bob Murray, those streamers, but there they are again. They're a damn nuisance. Kick from Bob Murray now. Almost hits the centre with it, but the wind holds it up. Up oh, they go. Up. Ian Robertson, a glorious mark for Carlton. Robertson takes his kick. It's a drop kick, not a particularly good one, but just to let go. This could be the big difference in this match. Make the difference between the two sides. Jesselenko would be about 40 yards out. Kicking from the member stand side of the ground to the Richmond end goal. He had a lot of uh, kicking practice in the rooms before he came out. A ball right over the left leg. He puts it on its way. He may have hooked it a trifle. And another behind results. Alton leading by one point, three to two. I just got Michael, to suggest... mentioning about those streamers, Ted, I must get this in. There are very few on the ground today. Not quite and as it's many a as last to week. See. That's right, not quite as many. Mike, Jesselenko, he deliberated a long time before kicking that ball, which I feel at times Ooh. they stay too long. They freeze too much. Yeah, it could be. But I still think, Teddy, a lot of uh, the cause of this is that swirly wind. 
Murray now kicking out from the Richmond end again. Goes to the outer flank. Big Carl gets up from behind Jones. No mark. Picked up by Smith and Matilda. Tries a bit of pace, but he's grabbed by Crossbull. Gets out of trouble now. To the wing position on that outer side. Barry Green. Showing good anticipation. Takes the mark for the Saints. Green now. Kicks one up towards the pocket on that outer side. They move out for it. Hall gets a push in the back. Not seen, however. Taken by Crane of Carlton. Crane now to the weak position on that outer side. It's Barry Breen again. Breen breaks clear of Gould. Breen tries a short one. It's a glorious pass. Oh, oh, oh. Sergio Baby clapped it in one hand. Beautiful. His kick goes into the centre of the ground. Up they go. Flying high. Chance for Robert Walls. But it's Griffiths. Excelling on that half-back flank. Kicking in towards the centre-half forward position. Stephen Ray, tackled by Robertson, gets around. Nicely, he's in trouble now, though. Going back in towards Carl, hooks it in. And a nice mark taken by David McCoy. He's off again this week. What a beautiful exhibition of marking last week, Butch. Oh, I was just thinking, good. going back to Sergio's one-handed mark, any other footballer would have made it a triumph. But Sergio did it as if it was quite natural. Yeah, Every day of it. The ball is on the wing for the oh! That was a good effort, but he definitely must be penalised because he did not mark. I tell you what, that's a very difficult uh, dis uh, decision to uh, to make by the umpire because he was deliberately playing that ball. There's no shadow of doubt about that. Ooh. All right, Griffiths to take the kick. Kicks in the wide centre half forward there. The players set themselves up. They go. Down it comes here. Taken by man. Oh, that should be in the back. I don't agree with you, Ted. It was holding the ball. He rode right. into the ground. Quirk now. Down forward. No mark, however. The ball taken by Jimmy O'Day of St Kilda. O'Day into the centre. Trot couldn't hold it, but he butters up for St Kilda. Trot now. Down towards centre half. For Stewart. Fantastic. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Well, I gave him up. I thought he couldn't possibly get it the way he went for it. There's his pass now. Up towards Lawrence. Lawrence goes up high. Tries to knock the ball away. Struggles it out here. A chance here for um, Ray. Ray. He swings around. Puts his left boot into it. Sends it over the line on the full. And I'll give you a quiet tip now. I would hate to be a forward man out there today. It's a back man's day. Up to this stage it is, Mike, for sure. Yeah, but it's easier for back men. That's right. That's Straight early ahead. win. Wait. Had a few kicks now. Kicks to the half-back flank. Oh, McIntosh comes in. It's spilled off his chest, however. Gallagher has manhandled there. He'll get the free. And a little bit of testiness coming into the game there. Jolly's turned back the 15-yard penalty and correctly done. Scores two points in Kilda, three points Carlton. We're 18 minutes into the first quarter. There's the kick up towards the centre wing position. Griffiths on uh, giving uh, Jackson a lot of trouble. Kicked into the man there. Manzi tackled over towards uh, Rossi Smith. Picked up nicely by Moran now. Scooted in towards centre half forward. Barry Gill in good position. Oh, Jackson's clear. Beautiful football by Barry Gill. Kicks out towards Croswell. Croswell tries one on the half volley. Couldn't make it. And the kick going out the woods for your ball at least hand pass back towards Crane. Truck comes through, kicks off the ground, and play on calls, Jolly. It's down here to McIntosh. McIntosh, a beautiful football. Look at this. A goal. It's through. And Johnny Gould is down badly hurt. The true centre-half back position for Carlton. It looks to me as if he has injured his knee. There's the score, 1-2, St. Kilda, to Carlton, three points. Well, it took uh, a bit over 18 minutes for the bad. first goal of the match to come up, and it went to St. Kilda from the boot of McIntosh, and you can see John Gould. Well, seems to be in trouble there, but oh, he's such a resilient character. Crosswell to the half-back flank. Bounce of the ball, there she goes, up they go again, the ball is tapped down here, out comes uh, Smith with it for St Kilda, he struggles with that in the weak position on that outer side, Crosswell is chasing after it, Green after him, Crosswell comes out with the ball, he breaks clear now, he kicks it down well over the half forward line on that outer side, a chance for Robert Walls, but in comes Lily of St Kilda, Lily has the ball there. Over he goes, yes, he gets around Thornley. Kicks back to the weak position on the outer side. They fly high and a mark to Ian Robertson of Carlton. A funny game up to now, Michael. No advantage either side. Robertson now, kicking down forward. Jessalenko's right behind. He goes up high. Big Jones appeals for the mark. <laughs> Bit hopeful. Oh, Jessalenko should get it. She's kicked. Oh, he didn't mess around then, Jolly. The doctor's going out to Gould now. 
Kesalenko has this kick about 35 yards out on a slight angle for Richmond in goal. With this breeze from this position, Butch, he'd have to kick straight for the centre of the goals, allowing for no breeze. There he is now, concentrating. Kesalenko, hero last week. What's he going to do with this ball? It's on its way. It's swinging across. One point. Teddy made the error. He allowed for the win. Yeah, a little bit. That's Johnny it. Gould, the doctors had a look at him. Looks like Seems the to knee. be in a lot of pain. Well, I don't want to mess around with him too long, but I didn't leave a hole like well, this. Well, I mean it so most long. sincerely that I, I hope that he's not uh, not badly injured. I hope he's not even injured at all. I'll tell you what, it was a severe crushing blow when he went through that pack. Well, it's obviously the calf, Ted. That's what they're uh, putting ice on looking it. at. There's Bobby Murray's kick now from the full-back position. Mine off from behind, but Big John punches away. Rossi Smith picks up. Tackle by Plain. Over they go. Play on calls the umpire. Straight through Big John's knee. Mine up on the ground. Oh, players are in there battling for the ball. Smithy has it. He's pulled high. And umpire Jolly will play Rossi Smith. The captain of the St. Kilda, a free kick. Rossi Smith with the ball on the half-back flank. Gould is coming punch. off. Straight up to the ground, Breen flies from behind in front and will receive the free kick for being pushed out of position. Chandler is coming on for Carlton, number 22. What a pity to see. There goes Breen's off. kick now, looking for Stewart and Lawrence is there. Lawrence uh, dipped with the ball now, punched it out. Kevin Hall picks up for Carlton, the fullback. Punt kick to the centre of the ground, to the centre wing position where Croswell flies, can't take possession of it. Down it comes to the ground, Thornley has it, forces his way through the pack, goes for the big kick. Up to the forward line. No Carlton players there. Daryl Griffiths comes out. Picked up by Gallagher now. Gallagher is held but gets the ball up to the forward line. Peter Jones and uh, Lily. Uh, Lily comes out. Uh, Colling, I should say, from St. Kilda. Takes the ball around to the half-back flank where players dive onto it. Oh, pushed in the back of Carlton player. And will take the free kick. Now there's John Gould coming off. Perhaps that's the last time you'll ever see him in football togs for Carlton. This is his last season. As Walls takes his kick now, down four, the big men set themselves. Jessalenko couldn't handle it, but oh, he's in there battling. Jackson takes it for Carlton. A left foot snap by Sydney Boy. Through for one behind. That is a severe blow for uh, Carlton Mike, with Johnny Gill going off, because he's a dashing player. Not only a player of his quality, Ted, it's, it's um, for his versatility too. They can play him in three or four positions. And he's gone. He's torn a calf muscle, that no was, doubt. That was accidental too, the way oh, it happened. Yes. No shadow doubt about that, Mike. He went through a pack very oh. courageously. How stiff can you be? Well, Chandler's on for Carlton. There is Gould coming off very gingerly too. And Chandler has gone to the half-back flank position. Replace the crowd, giving Gould a tremendous ovation as Murray kicks the ball out now. Along the member stand flank, Jackson couldn't handle it. Quirk across to Jackson now. Carlton going forward, Jackson a long kick. This is through. But it's through. And Carlton hit the front. Seven points to 11. Butch, what I'd like to know, where's the stretcher? Where's the stretcher for Johnny yeah. Gill? Let's face it. Ridiculous. Preliminary final, 100-odd thousand people on the MCG. He must be in a terrible lot of acting. Well, look at the way he's walking, will you? Ball back in the centre. Don Jolly about to bounce. And we are almost 23 and a half minutes into the first quarter. There's the bounce there. Nichols gets a tap down. Savani so couldn't take it away. Nichols butters up, puts his right boot into it. Down forward she goes again. Oh, Lily uh, gets into the back there of uh, Gallagher, and Gallagher will take the fleet. Well, this is pathetic to see John Gill struggle around this boundary line, Mike. A kick now from Gallagher. It's going down right to the goal square. Jones from behind. Jessalenko waits. Jessalenko has the ball. He's spared. Picked up by Smith of St Kilda. Out towards a half-back flank on the middle. Oh, side. Oh, the Work of Carlton. Michael, I'll tell you, player's playing exceptionally well as Jackson. He's going to be a very dangerous player today. Burke's not doing badly either. Up he comes to take his kick. Oh, goes right across. Players move in. Jackson! Jackson sweated on that one, read the game, or flight of the ball better than anybody else. 
was in short for the short one. That's Such right. a beautiful kick this fellow. He's dangerous from anywhere on the forward He's line. He's 50, 55 yards out, directly in front, kicking to the Richmond and goal. He favours a drop kick. He's made a liar of Butch. It's a poor kick for him, and Minot takes the mark at the fence for St Kilda. It's a marvellous, Michael. Every time you declare yourself, you know. That's a, a million to one shot, him uh, putting in a bad one like that. Say that again. Minot now. Kicking the ball from the back pocket, out towards centre wing. Dittrich in from behind, punches the ball deeply. Ticket taken away by Robert Walls. Kicked into Gisolenko and he's marked. Tell you what, we've had a lot of opportunities now, Carl, to put some scores on the board. You still think that's the um, I was advantage just watching, end? I was just watching a moment ago, my Butch, when that ball did drop very short when it was kicked high. Gisolenko coming in, 40 yards out directly in front. He's missed another one. Another behind, he's kicked a few, he's kicked three behinds. Well, it makes a difference, Michael. He kicked eight straight last week, and now he's got three points on the board. One, two to one, six. Could be the difference between uh, playing in the grand final or mothballs. True, now there's Murray clearing up the square. Pity the player has to do it himself. Yeah, surely there'd be enough ground staff here to do it, but still, maybe they're otherwise engaged. There's Murray's kick in now. Oh, looks beauty too. Right in towards the centre. McIntosh in good position. Underneath it was Robertson. McIntosh takes it. Hand pass a bit wild, that one. Punched away from Nancy. Down to Malkir. Malkir's hand pass over towards Thornley. To McIntosh. Oh. Nichols. Oh, bad one there by McIntosh. Nichols walks around. Kicks a long one. Right in towards the square. And the mark taken by Colling. I don't know about Colling, you know. He's not all that tall, but he handles those resting Ruckman pretty well. Very comfortably. Kick now, up she goes, taken by Nichols once again. He's burning again on his preliminary final. And what a pass! Oh, if you don't mind, it's the wrong foot of two mic. Oh. Beautiful. He's popped that off the side of his boot. Perfect position for Jesselenko to make. I well, don't he... think Jess would have lifted his head again had he dropped that one. He's had four shots from this position, Mike. Let's see if he can. And he's kicked three behinds and one out of bounds. I should know which way it's going now. Jeselenko, 40 yards out again, directly in front, it's on its way. It's better. It's better. She's through. 26 and a half minutes into the opening quarter of the preliminary final. Carlton now leading by two goals, six to one, two. Not a high scoring game, but no, as we mentioned earlier, either, Ted. the defences of both sides playing very tight, giving very little away to the forwards. Any changes now? Can't see any uh, Butch Don Jolly coming in to bounce the ball. The centre of the ground, having a look around the players. Up they go. Up they go. Why not get a tap down? There's a heap of players in there. Picked up by Rossi Smith, who surges forward with it. Here's little Stevie Ray. He marks. He's dragged. He's pulled around the neck. And will take the, uh, the free kick. Ian Stewart gives him the ball. He'd be 65, 70 yards out of goal. There's Lawrence. Makes his lead, Lawrence. Ignored by Ray. There it goes this time. It's a beautiful oh, pass. Oh, hard on the chest of Barry Lawrence. The old a double lead. Pass. And a beautiful lead. He had two players to contend with then, Barry Lawrence. Lawrence, who would be now 35 yards out. 35, maybe 40 if you stretched it a bit. Kicking to the scoreboard end goal. Number 13. It's on its way. It looks pretty good from here. So one, side. one point. Yeah, look pretty good off yes. his boot, Teddy. Well, transit. Mike, I'd have called that a goal. Yeah. Look yeah. good. 1-3 to 2-6. Uh, Mike, I think possibly St. Killer are looking for Lawrence a little bit too much. Up around the goal square. I think well, they'd we'll be a bit off going with a big kick I there. think. Hall now, playing at full back. Made his name as a half-back flanker. The ball knocked away. It's taken by Ross Smith at St. Kilda. He hooks it around. They race for it there. There's a mark to Ray. That's the luck you need in football. Stephen Ray now. He's getting leads from everybody. A confuse the kid. There's Stewart. Ray takes his kick now to the edge of the goal square. Swinging out a bit. Lawrence comes out there. He was uh, bundled out of the way. He tries the left foot. Snap of the big ones and another behind. I don't mean that they should ignore him when he makes the leads there, Mike, but uh, at times when the ball has been kicked high, the big mm. men are staying down, leaving it I, for Lawrence. I, I agree you, with you wholeheartedly, that's all. Ted. I'll tell you something, he keeps back men pretty busy. That's He's right. three behinds, actually, Barry well, Lawrence. Michael, I think Ted said, stuck the point. That is a short oh, pass. Oh, one come pocket. off! Oh, wait, got away with that, luckily. Got around onto the left foot. Got his kick, kicks into the centre of the ground. 
And nearly a mark to Minot. Over they go. Robertson in there. Minot again. Backing up nicely. Gets a left foot kick in towards centre half forward. Punched away. And a nice hand pass over to Barry Gill by Malcare. The kick goes in towards the centre of the ground. And Darrell Griffiths marks. Boys back in business after a bad injury in the first semi-final. Darrell Griffiths from the half-back flank goes for the drop kick. Up to the centre-half forward position. Jones is in there. McIntosh is there, but it's a play on by the umpire to Moran. Moran to his left foot. Down to the full forward position. Kevin Hall, the full-back, takes possession of the ball. Goes for the big kick. Oh, it's not a good kick. Very high. Crane and Trotter there. Both players misjudge the flight. It's picked up by Crane. Kicked again. Wild to Sergio Silvani. Picks it up on the half volley. Punt kicks down to the half forward line. Thornley's in there. Also is Lily. Lily comes out with the ball this time. Picks it up. Oh, got around Silvani easily. And left foot it up to Barry Green, who's marked the safe one on his yeah, Good play by Lily there, Ted. Yes, good football. It's Barry Green now goes for the drop punt. Up to the full forward position. Mr. Jones is in there. And Jones has marked in front of the pack. This is what Carlton want to see. Butch Jones taking a few more yeah. field marks. Definitely. A bit overdue, isn't it? Yes. Jones Big Peter Jones now. Kicks it out to the wing position on the outer side. Brian Minot flies. The siren goes, ending the first quarter of the preliminary final. Scoreboard reading, St Kilda 1-4-10. Carlton 2-6-18. At the MCG, it's umpire Don Jolly bouncing the ball. The second quarter of the match, the preliminary final. Carlton versus St Kilda. Ooh. It's St Kilda into attack. They're kicking down to the Richmond end. The ball taken by Travis Pays. Who had a rather quiet first quarter. Through comes Big Carl. The ball taken by Crosswell of uh, Carlton. Crosswell magnificent in the first quarter. Kicks it wide to the wing position on the outer side. Darrell Griffiths comes in there. He's tackled immediately though. Holding and the a man. Free kick has been given. Yeah, definitely. You reckon? Yeah, definitely. Free. Didn't, Didn't have, have the, the ball. ball. That's right, Butch. Quirk now handing it back to him. Griffiths is taking his kick from the centre wing position. On the outer side. And we'll soon see what advantage this wind has. In towards centre half forward and a nice mark to Breen again. Now he's called play on. And hand pass to Croswell. Croswell's kick goes up towards centre half forward. Oh. Barney and now oh, it's a wonderful break here. Jackson sprinting for it. In towards goal. Tackled solidly, a kick at goal, but it'll go through for one point. Gee, he showed some pace. He showed some pace. <laughs> He's a real thief. He's a real thief from a from a pack. Which little city Jackson reads it beautifully, and that is the play of a half forward flanker. You can only describe them as a thief because they're the only opportunities they really get is to live off the packs. He's playing on a bit of quality too, in Darrell Griffiths. Oh, he's got quality himself. Bob Murray, a worried boy, about to kick in. Goes for the punt kick this time. Big pack of players there. Neil pushed in the back. No uh, free kick. Stuart Trott will get the free though. Too high. Held on the shoulder and he's on a half back flank. That breeze looks to be favouring the Richmond end the way St Kilda are kicking. There's a kick into what's in a half. Big Nichols on his own. Oh, he dropped it. Played on though. Recovered nicely. Kicks in towards centre half forward and man, Lily, I beg your pardon, takes the chest mark. That breeze is difficult. Yes, they're having trouble. There's Lily coming in with the ball now, kicks up to the centre of the ground. Mackay is there, Breen, Breen had his hands to the ball but dropped it, picked up by Big Carl. Handball's on to Moran, Moran goes for the drop punt, kick at goal, it looks pretty good, in running. But it's offline for one point. The wind took that off, Teddy. It's a nice piece of football from Carl, very unselfish. Comment from Mr Football, Ted Whitten, who was with us throughout the final series on Channel 7 exclusively. Butch Gale, former captain of Fitzroy, a veteran of over 200 league games. Pretty hard to uh, get any real pattern of play, isn't it? Oh, it is too. I think this is caused more by this difficult win than anything. Players are very tentative. There's the kick out towards the flank and the mark taken. Mancy. That's deep on a half forward flank. Now he's got a devil of a long way to kick for goal here. Gets the distance into the square. Dittrich there over the top as weight. Scramble through for one point. It's a scrambly affair. Neither side will give an inch. There's been no finesse, has there, Mike? There's been no good football displayed. It's a struggle. As I said in the first quarter, they're like two big heavyweights feeling each other out. And neither side's really had what you'd call a dip as yet. Well, I haven't. Neither side has taken the risk, Michael. Kevin Hall at full back. Kicks in, deep to the flank, Crosswell in good position, gets the ball punched away by McIntosh, down to Gallagher, Gallagher tackled by Smith, gets his kick in towards that half-forward flank, 
Over it goes, tapped over nicely to Chandler by Nichols in towards Jackson and Griffiths. Jackson trying to recover, taken by Mackay. Playing for Walls, I beg your pardon, and Walls plays on deep in towards the forward area. Murray in there, hits down, taken away nicely by Thornley. Thornley's kick scrambled over the boundary line for throwing. Look at City Jackson going crook. He could easily have handballed to Jackson running past. I think he tried to put it wide for Jackson, but put, uh, put a bit too much force into it. Throw in takes place. Jones goes up there with Minot. I think it's a clear tap down. Lily knocks it away here. The ball is taken. And struggle actually by ball Cowboy up. Neal. And the result, there'll be a ball up about 50 yards out from the Carlton goal. They're kicking up to the scoreboard and Jones taps it down here. Ross Smith comes through. He's grabbed immediately by Gallagher. The result in the back. 15 yards against Adrian Gallagher. Fair enough decision. Carlton leading by seven points. Smith kicking from the half back line in towards the centre. Up they go. No mark. Ball crunched down solidly. There's a chance for Robertson who taps it to Croswell to Nichols. Nichols passes. A chance for Gallagher. Gaggle, Gallagher tackled there by Lilly, but he recovers nicely. Gets around onto that right foot. Pops a short one in. And Sylvania is marked. Old Serge had his name on that. Old Serge appeared to be a little bit testy about those days of tension there. Oh, pretty hard to get Serge testy. He would be 55 yards out, Butch. Almost directly in front. He puts it on its way, but it's offline, I feel, and another behind. 2-8 to 1-6. The sharp contrast to the kicking of both sides last week in the second semi-final. Well, I think they had 10 or 11 goals right. on the board by quarter time, and we're well into the second quarter now. They both didn't have full... this uh, shocking win to contend that's, with, though. That's no, exactly true. right. Both fullbacks are having problems in uh, deciding which uh, flank to kick. Oh, there's a bad kick by Murray, right at the hands of Gallagher. Gallagher handballs to Jackson. Jackson runs into the open one. Oh, look at his thumb on him. He's put it right through the middle for another goal to Carlton. That's his and second. That Jackson's second goal. All from a bad kick from Bob Murray, the fullback of St. Kilda. And I'll tell you one thing. Very rarely do you see Bobby Murray put in a bad kick from fullback. Well, it's mainly, as Michael mentioned, though, Ted, the hesitancy is there. And, uh, you know, he who hesitates is lost. It's not like there's a little bit of a ding in the pocket, Gallagher and Lily, and uh, Jones coming over to put his bib in too. Well, Ron Casey can and fix just it up. And Jolly's woken up to this now, and he's coming down to say a few words. Now, behave yourself, he said. That's right, and that's what should happen. Instead of boundary umpires and goal umpires sticking their bibs in, the central umpire's in control, and is Jolly in control. There's the bounce, there they go. Nichols taps it down. Smith comes out with the ball, screws it around, but Big Nick is there. Oh! 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 A slight jump. Out it comes here towards Crane of Carlton. Crane going forward now. That's a long one down towards Jessalenko. Oh, he's, he's paid it. Pay it. He's paid it. Oh, would you have paid it? I wouldn't have. Would you have paid it, Teddy? No. Right. Well, I tell you what I would have done earlier, taking the ball off Big John. Jessalenko. Who's kicked one, about one three, is no more than 25 yards out directly in front. Long deliberation. Up comes Jessalenko now. A lot of thought into this kick. Oh, don't tell me. He's missed it. Another one. And look at the look on Alex's face. Looking at his boot now. Butch, do you agree? Too long? Yeah, he's quite definitely too waiting too long. He's those, a far better kick when he takes the, uh, the, longer the initiative you look, and bang. The longer you look at those big sticks, the narrower they become. That distance apart. Murray's still worried about where to kick this ball in. Going up the oh. centre. Neal's a chance to mark in front of Robert Walls, who punches the ball away, and Neal will take the free kick. A slight shove from behind. And we are eight minutes into the second quarter. Play livening up. There's the kick by Neil out towards centre wing. He's hooked it badly. And it'll beat them all over the line for a throw in. It's on centre wing on the inner side of the ground. Stewart uh, hasn't been in a great deal of the play. Throwing takes place. The up they go. Minot gets a tap down here. It's taken by Trott. 
Todd swings around. He tries one in towards uh, Breen at centre half forward. Bit under Breen. Oh, Dittrich cleverly uh, knocks it across here. Could have been a free kick for Manzi. But play on is the call. In comes Big Carl. He's uh, shepherding there for Manzi. Manzi gets his kick in down forward into the pocket. A mark there. No. Ray could have been paid it. But in comes Breen. Yeah, in comes Breen. Breen. Breen's free kick. No doubt. He's on a very acute angle, about 30 yards out. Right on the boundary line. Kid is a big crowd here. Oh, this will need to be a mighty kick. I couldn't score from there, sure. Barry Breen, it's on its way. Tell you what, it looks Swing good. Around. He has a sausage right through. Kitty said a sausage, a sausage roll. There's Barry Breen, the centre half forward uh, for St. Kilda. Beautiful. Well, Jessalinko put one through from the same position last week. St Kilda 2 6 18, Carlton 3 9 27. Hey, uh, Butch, the big men are not having much to say in the area. No. A, a good move would be Stewart on the ball for St Kilda. Roaming around the ground as a ruck rover. There's a centre bounce now. Down to Gallagher. Gallagher kicks the ball wildly. Mans is in hot pursuit with uh, Quirk. Jackson's there also, followed by Stewie Trot. Jackson gets his boot up to the half forward line. Neil's there and Robert Walls for Colt, but over the line it goes for another throw in. Half forward flank on the outer side of the ground. It must be darn near impossible for those players, the 36 of them, to actually read the flight of the ball. We can feel the wind up here, it's freezing, believe me. Disconcerting to say the least. Ah, oh, Gallagher, he'll get it all right. And Carlton. By conditions like this, upset players. They don't feel like playing football at times. Jesselenko. Gallagher takes his kick down towards Jessa. There he is, number 25. He runs into a brick wall, and it's a free kick going to Bob Murray. When I said he ran into a brick wall, he ran right into Murray's back, but something must have happened there that we didn't see to Colling. Colling's got the kick now. He goes wide to the flank on the outer side. It's close to the boundary line. Silvani's in there. Gallagher takes it. He's grabbed by Smith. He drops the ball. Smith picks up immediately. Smith of St Kilda now. Drives in towards the centre. They're backing back from there. Breen of St Kilda has taken the mark. That's a great mark, that one. Under extremely difficult conditions. There, Jolly's uh, pulled a 15-yard penalty here. And Breen now kicking just forward of the centre line. Kicks it towards centre half forward. Up they go. Oh, McIntosh interfered with. Couldn't quite get it. Dittrich comes through. Tries to barge his way through. In trouble. Taken away there by Paul out towards the uh, half-back flag. It's Trot moving for it. Gets it. Short passes to McIntosh. And McIntosh is right. the centre half forward. Oh, he's a real pro, this bloke. Long way out, or oh, if he kicks this, it'll be a very big kick. There's Barry Lawrence in the square. He kicked one in the first quarter. Lawrence uh, gives the lead. He's likely to give another lead at any given moment. Kevin Hall wearing him like a second skin. A long kick by McIntosh. Oh, it's a beautiful It's a lovely goal. Kenny, there's no doubt that that wind is saving that end. I would think so. But only from sections of the ground, I feel. Three points to difference in Carlton's favour. Three, six, three, nine. And we are 11 and a half minutes into the second quarter. And St Kilda still have not played well. Well, the first quarter was nothing to write home about, was it? Really nothing in it, but uh, things are certainly livening up now as Trot comes away from the centre for St Kilda. Trot now down forward. McIntosh is in there, but Lawrence comes out. He couldn't get it. There's McIntosh coming into the pack. Picked up by Lawrence. Lawrence across to uh, Moran. Moran is almost grabbed by Chandler. He comes around on his left foot. He shoots at the big ones. Oh! Play on. There's a goal. Stephen Ray. Head on. He's got the free against Silvani. Silvani held it. And uh, that goes to him because he was caught in possession or he was held while not in possession. Well, Silvani surrendered. He definitely had hold of him, but he could not see whether the player had the ball or not. Now, Ray's on an acute angle, as you can see there. As the camera comes up, you'll find that Ray's on, oh, 40-degree angle. Yes, I think that's Only 20 spot. yards out. Be a handy one if he can get it. Three points down from Kilder at this stage in the match. He's missed. Missed it. It's just missed. That would have been a very handy goal for St Kilda. Two points the difference. Carlton still leading and we're 13 minutes played in the second quarter. 
under very swirly, windy conditions. What's Kevin Hall going to do? He's going to go for the outer flank, puts his boot in, and it's a good kick too. Up the big man fly, no mark, it comes down here, Dittrich comes through there, Shepherd's well, but allows Gallagher to come in, Gallagher down forward, taken by Robert Walls of Carlton, Walls to Crane, Crane now looking forward, he's looking for Jessalenko, he's found him! Beautiful pass. Right, gee, this is not bad play against one of the strongest defences in the league. Jessalenko now, who's kicked about one goal, four... And one out of bounds. He certainly had the opportunity. He's always a good 55 yards out. Kicking to the scoreboard end goal. It's on its way. It's swinging round. One point. Oh, one five now. One out of bounds. To make a devil of a difference. He's waiting too long, Ted, as you pointed out before. I think he'd be better off if he grabbed the ball and ran up and kicked it. Oh, well, how can he win? If he runs up, everybody says he's hurrying. Oh, no, no, really, honestly. Ted, he's, uh, Michael, I just he's taking too much time. Just a little bit too long, that's all. But he's had results. He's kicked over 100 goals right. with, this, uh, with the way he's doing it. As Murray's kicked now from full back. Out to the outer side. Dittrich is in front of Jones. Can't mark the ball. Dittrich works there. Rossi Smith comes and throws the ball to the ground. Coming through as Manzi. He can't pick it up. Thornley has the ball now. Thornley's after the ball. In comes uh, Lily of uh, St. Killer. But a Smith with the ball now. Kicks around. Oh, the umpire yeah, Jolly field. has picked up a free kick. Obvious free kick up the field. And he's on the go. ball, Jolly. It's going to Jimmy O'Day. O'Day Jimmy. now from the halfback flank on the outer side. Slips over. In comes Stuart Trot. Leading in the race he's for the ball. Hit mark. He's almost at centre half back. That's how that ball came across, almost at right angles. Trot, tremendous run of this fellow. Kicks down to Woods and a half forward. They fly high. Up they go. No mark, though. Taken by McIntosh. McIntosh a short run down forward here. Lawrence has the ball, but he's well tackled. Well held by Kevin Hall, who's playing a magnificent game. A kick off the ground here. Through they come. Picked up by Chandler. Chandler breaks clear. Puts his boot in it to the wing position on the member stand side. Crane can't quite pick it up. Trots after Crane. Crane of Carlton comes around now to the half forward flank on the member stand style on the side still. No uh, mark to Robert Walls. Will the hand pass go from Robertson to Walls? It does so. Walls kicks it high in the air. It doesn't travel a great distance. Taken oh. by Chandler. He's taken to the ground. And the ball is forced forward, but the kick will be going Carlton's way mm. to Gary Crane. To Crane. They caught that St Kilda player holding the ball. He's just forward of centre wing. His kick's a long one in towards centre half forward. Up they go, Murray. Punch down to Dittridge. Dittridge in trouble, bounces it. Pushes it out in front, really. Taken away from him by Jezelenko. Jezelenko snaps at goal. Nichols is there. In a lovely position, touch down to Jackson. Jackson speaks for it. Tackled by Colling. He's oh, side him and kicks it goal. Beautiful football, Jackson. Beautiful. That's his third goal. What about Jackson. Nichols, though? Yeah, beautiful piece of football. 3-7 to 14. He's a real percentage player, City Jackson. 16 and a half minutes into the second quarter. I'd like to see St. Killer do something with Ian Stewart. Yes. He's Eddie, kept I'm, out of the game too much. I'm right with you there. I'd put him in the centre. There's the bounce. Jones taps it down. Oh, kicked off the ground by Smithy, but uh, coming from behind is Breen, who can't pick up the ball. Chandler is there. Oh, Silvani's in there also. Coming out as... Uh, Chandler, but umpire Jolly has picked a free kick yeah, going holding to, the man to Chandler. To Chandler. The halfback flanker replaced Johnny Gill in the first quarter, went off with an injured knee. There's Chandler's kick now, right down the centre of the ground from behind. Croswell! Oh, yes! Beautiful mark. Gee, he takes some big marks, this boy. Isn't he firing today, Tim? He's played very well. Switch to the halfback flank, but there was his kick right up to the full forward position. Players fly high front. The ball is knocked away here. In comes Nichols there. Nichols tries to break clear, but he can't do so. He gets it across to Robert Walls. Robert Walls, a left foot snap. Oh! He's put it through, I think. It's through. Yes! Good play, Nichols, again. Good play there by Carlton. Playing a much more tighter game than St Kilda. And there's the difference now. It's 15 points lead to Carlton, and it's what time, Michael? Just on 18 minutes into the second quarter. Good break by Carlton now. Very handy lead. In an extremely difficult game to score. In they go. A good punch by Minot there. Over towards Travis Page. But Mackay comes through. Close. Oh! Down by Jeffrey with a good shoulder. A beauty. 
And uh, away they go. They're struggling now. And uh, Umpire oh. Jolly has declared a free kick here. And there was nothing wrong with that at all. It was all. a fair bump. Shot. It was a fair bump. Free kick going. There's the player there. Robertson. Met, Robertson met uh, with a straight shoulder and not a thing wrong with it. Barry Breen now has the kick. You'll see the angle he's on in just a second as he comes up to kick. On an angle. Oh, pretty good one too, isn't it? It's on its way. It's swinging around the big... Oh, guy. he's kicked it! He's fallen. Oh, oh touched. Well, gee, that was close. Touch, Teddy. Yes. Mike, have you noticed that the big men have played no dominating part in the game up to date? The high flyers because of the conditions? Well, it's pretty hard to get set, isn't it? The That's ball's right. not coming in truly. It's the small men that are going to dictate terms if these conditions prevail. Kevin Hall doing a good job at fullback now. Kicks wide to the uh, out of flank position there. Jones will be paid up. Peter Jones of Carlton. He swings around in towards the centre half back position. Kicks down towards Jackson. Jackson waits back, allows Jimmy O'Day to come through. O'Day now to the half forward flank. There's a killer on the outer side. Adrian Gallagher has marked. Little gags. Playing well, too. He's kicked now to the half forward flank. Still on that outer side. The big man fly now. Mark into the ground. It comes. In comes uh, Moran, he's in a bit of trouble however, gets a hurry kick to the back towards the wing position. The ball knocked away by uh, Manzi there. Over the line she goes, there'll be a throw in. In the, on the wing position, on that outer side. Throw in takes place. Minot moves in, Nichols with him there, Nichols gets a tap down. Taken by Travis Pays, Pays now, kicks it in towards the centre. The ball bounces off the way, they all sweat and the Breen knocks it away however. Out they come after the ball, it's Stuart Trott, but Salvani showing off. <laughs> Amazing pace, snaps it away from them. Silvani up towards centre half forward. Jones goes there, but it's McIntosh and St Kilda with it. McIntosh wide to the member stand side here. Ball taken by Travis Plays. He's got plenty of time to uh, regain his composure. Kicks down forward, and Chandler takes the mark in defence for Carlton. Chandler now takes a good kick. It's a beauty up towards centre half forward. Pushing it back to Lilly. Not seen. Playing as a call. It goes to Thornley. Thornley places away the big ones. Oh! oh! Lucky one. Calling it bounced off his chest. Just as well it wasn't a plum pudding. Just as well that ball kept rolling because Big Jones was just standing there waiting to pounce on it and poke it through. Could have just put his foot to it and guided it through. And Kilda not playing with any confidence whatsoever. They're not, are they? Very rattled side. They're not I doing mean, anything with the ball. a pretty hard side to play against because they tackle the man fiercely that has the ball, not allowing him any time or comfort to kick. Murray now. Oh, kicks that off. Crosswell oh, went for the big one. He's paid it. He's I paid it for Crosswell. He's paid it. Oh, I would have paid it, Butch. Oh, it's a good mark. Quite poor for Rapp. Oh, he held it long enough. All right, he's got it. Not much good arguing. There's his kick down forward once again. Big Jones. Hey! Look at that. With the strong marks. Well, uh, Carlton certainly want this fellow to fire. Well, he's slowly but surely getting his confidence back, Michael. You'll notice that early he was struggling, and now he's more sure of himself. And the big man's starting to do a bit of damage around the ground. Jones would be 30 yards out, directly in front, kicking to the scoreboard and goal. It's a major through. And Carlton taking a bit of a grip on this game in the second quarter. 3-8 to 6-11. This is exactly what happened uh, in the first semi-final when South Melbourne got on top of St Kilda in the uh, second quarter. Exactly the same pattern, although they're not playing the same brand of football as what they were playing in the first semi-final, St Kilda. 22 minutes played in the, the second quarter, and right John will have to do something. Right on 22 and a half minutes, actually, Al, to be precise. Right. Taken by Quirk. Quirk forward for Carlton. The ball bounces all the way for Lamont. Here's Crosswell again. Oh, he's dynamic today. Crosswell at the big ones, but a tough line. Out of bounds on the full. John Lilly to take the resultant kick. Someone must be in short. Lilly now takes his kick, comes along the member stand flank. Oh, yes, there was somebody in short, all right. Robert Balls of Carlton. Right. Field kicking four. Now Walls would be, oh well he's a long way out, he's kicked one, wouldn't see him kicking this, he'd have to kick at the best part of 75 yards in these conditions, but he's gone pretty close, 
and the ball finally got his boot with, but it was already over the line, touched through, another behind to the Blues. Yes, still having trouble with the windy conditions. Bob Murray in two minds, which way to go? Comes out with the ball, he's going to favour the drop kick. He goes more up the centre of the ground. Robinson is there for Carl, but punched away. And there goes Ian Stewart. Uh, for St. Killer with the ball, but Nichols has it. Goes for the big kick, the drop punt kick down to the centre of the ground. Oh, this is running close to the goal square. Players charging. Bobby Murray with the ball, kicks it out to the back pocket position. But umpire Jolly has picked the free kick to St. Kilda in the line name of Bob Murray. He's quite a funny position to give the free, though. He's yes, I couldn't the ball, pick it. say, something like 10 or 20 yards from where it was. I couldn't pick the free boots, to be quite honest I think honest what may have been, um, Ted, was he was held in the race for that ball. Could easily have been, yes. It's the only reason he's positioning him there. I tell you, he's umpiring with a lot of common sense, though, isn't he? Certainly. In a difficult game, oh. too. Dittridge takes the mark. Big Carl since his split in the down towards centre half forward. Players fly high, no mark however. Down she comes, they're struggling for it. Picked up by Chandler. Chandler of Carlton now over the centre. Big Carl comes through there, misses the bounce, but regains it. Oh, gets the kick oh, downfield. No. And the free up the field. I'll tell you what, it's gone the wrong way. We'll go to Moran. The free kick should be to Carlton, and it is. Oh! Yes. It's against Carl. There's Nicholson's kick now. McIntosh is there on walls. McIntosh in front. A very strong mark. McIntosh. You think the Wiley Nick might have helped that a bit too? Big Carl was well, charging through. Carl. It was a little yeah, bit but... awkward for him to stop. There's McIntosh gone for the short one. Looking for Daryl Griffiths, who's been very quiet in this quarter. He plays on. Swings it out to the half forward flank for St. Kilda. Barry Gill's there. Also Moran. Rossi Smith, the captain of St. Kilda now, taking the ball along the ground with him. Followed by Thornley of Carlton. Hit off Good the ground. Play. Yes, yeah, free kick. Could have been a bit earlier too. He tries a short one out here to the weak position on the outer side, taken by Daryl Griffiths. Griffiths now gets his kick in all right downfield. They fly high. Stewart couldn't hold the mark, but he's appealing for it. But no, it's not going his way. Robinson. It's going to Ian Roberts. They've got to get Stewart in this game, Mike. Sure. Barry Gill now. Carlton uh, half back flanker takes. The I ball. fancy Stewart's in the centre. Moran to the flank. There's Barry Gill's kick, the drop kick along the centre line position. Coming out from behind St Kilda, Robert Walls is there. He swings on his right boot, kicks it very high in the air. City Jackson's underneath. Jimmy O'Day's there. The Wiley Jackson. Oh, Ian Stewart picks up, slips over. Can't handle the ball at all. Oh, it comes through now with his left foot. Oh, it's a bad kick. Kicks to the centre of the ground. Sergio Silvani's there. Travis Pays also for St Kilda. Pays right through his legs. Hit off the ground by Gary Crane of Carlton. Crane picks up the ball now. Oh, goes for the big kick up towards the goal. Colling is there for St. Kilda along with Jezelenko, but over it goes for a throw in the forward pocket at the scoreboard into the ground. And McIntosh has been moved to centre half back too. And things really warming up now. The throw in Carlton's forward pocket. Through comes Big Carly, takes the ball, then he loses the ball. Through comes Lily, Lily goes to the ground. <laughs> Funny old pass, but out it came to uh, Smith. Smith of St Kilda now to the wing position on the oh, left hand side. They all race for it there. Look at this. There's nobody home for St Kilda. The ball close to the boundary line. Chandler has time to pick up, but uh, eventually gets his kick. It swings in towards centre half forward for Carlton. All through they come there. The ball. Who's got it? Lily comes through there. Couldn't take it. Thornley with it. Thornley. McIntosh at St Kilda. He's held. McIntosh is still going. He hooks it around with his left foot towards Minot. Minot, two bites of a cherry and takes the mark. He's on the wing position on the member stand side. Players are all over the place and it's all Carlton here. Croswell from behind, punches the ball down. Toast pushed aside there by Gill. Down it comes under the ground. A chance for Moran. Moran tackles it again, but he's surrounded by Carlton players. They're defending extremely oh, well. Ball up. Pays over the top and Jolly will bounce it on a half forward flank. Going on towards 28 minutes into the second quarter. Jones comes in there. Cowboy Neal is there. Where's the ball? We can see the players. Jones falls over at the psychological moment. Hooks it away here. It's kicked off the ground by Crosswell. Taken here by Stewart of St Kilda. Stewart now. This is a better kick from him. Down forward she goes. Still there. But through comes Green of St Kilda. Green. Oh, oh he's missed it. Give it to 
they could have given it over, Dean. One polite hand pass to Ray it would have ran into an open goal. A bad error there. Well, you don't get much time to start surveying well, the scenery. Michael, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't make errors like that. Now, I know it's being critical, but the thing was there and it should have been done. I now, this is the problem with St Kilda right at this very moment. They're playing like individuals instead of Butch, like a team. you were criticising full forwards before and you played for... 14 years and kicked 15 oh, goals. Story, 14 years. As Talking Kevin Hall kicks game. off now, the fullback for Carlton. Dittrich for there, but also as Mackay. Mackay has. No, he's not. Yes, he has. He's played Mackay the mark. A centre half back for Carlton. <laughs> you two fellas fight on. It's a kick now out to Thornley. Thornley of Carlton. Uh, I'm sorry, Robertson of Carlton with the ball. Robertson swings to the centre half forward position. In front is uh, Croswell, but Jesselenko comes out. Kicks it over to Jackson. Well, Shepard and Jesselenko. Jackson onto his left boot. Looking for Carlton. Up forward. Thornley from behind this time. Tap to the ground. Coming oh, out. Oh, look. There's a, there's a free kick. He had to see that. Free kick on the lead. Well, back pocket player for St. Kilda. Tell you what, there must be St. Kilda fans somewhere in the ground. We can only hear the Carlton ones, I think. There's the kick now. In towards the centre. Big Carl from behind will be paid the mark. Dittrich now kicks down towards centre half forward, swings out towards the flank position of Michael. There's a good mark from Mackay. Mackay of Carlton. Oh, great man in there. Gets the ball across here to Ian Robertson of Carlton. Robertson towards a half forward flank on that outer side. Moran gets one in the back, but passes it out very quickly to Manzi. Manzi now down to the half forward flank on that outer side. Plenty of Carlton defenders there. Oh, cares after it, but Smith has it. Smith showing his experience. Hooks it around here towards Lawrence. Lawrence has a couple of bites. Oh, beautiful boy. Gee, that was a good effort. Gee, they need to score badly. Oh, don't they that. need to score? Yes. 3 9 to 6 12. Lawrence. Oh, he's a good 50 yards out if you have a look at that angle. Kicking from the outer side to the Richmond end goal. Up he comes. Favours the drop punt. It's on its way. I think it's offline. Yes. Another behind. 3 10. To 6 12. Well, they haven't had that many chances to score, which have they? Well, St. Kilda are playing like a rabble, honestly. Well, Lawrence has kicked four behinds, no goals. He's had the opportunities down there. But isn't Kevin Hall playing well at full back? A tight game, Teddy. He's doing a great job. A great job. A surprise move, too, Mike. Oh, lovely kick out by Hall. Big Jones is there. He takes it. He's hand pass immediately towards Robertson. But he put Robertson into a bit of trouble. Maybe Robertson put himself there. Kick out towards the wing position on the outer side. The ball comes to the ground. Moran comes in there. He's well shepherded. Moran is in a bit of trouble now as Walls comes in. Moran tries a short one out here. It comes off to Manzi. Manzi down towards the pocket on the outer side. Lawrence comes out with Hall there. Hall knocks the ball away. The ball, uh, yes, here is a go here for Stephen May. He's in a bit of trouble, but he's still going. Oh. A hand pass, but it's intercepted by Jones. Plus it goes to Hall. Hall now a short one to the halfback flank on the outer side. Mackay takes it. Brother Brian Quirk. Quirk now, in towards the centre of the MCG. Through they come. They miss the ball completely. Picked up by Trot of St Kilda. Trot now, out towards the flank on the outer side, and Minot has marked for the Saints. If you don't want to score quickly, we're getting towards the siren in the second quarter. Minot, a long kick down forward, up they go. Green! Very green, yes. Read that beautifully, and popped one through for St Kilda. That's green second, and we are 32 minutes into the second quarter. 4-10-34, trailing Carlton, 6-12-48. What a difference in the scores of last week. Man. Yes, a big contrast, and also a big contrast in the full forwards. They kicked their 9-8 and eight last week, and they're all having their go at behinds today, kicking a lot of points. Neil has uh, gone to the forward pocket for uh, St Kilda, and Nichols hits down, snapped away, taken away by Manzi, the kick going up here towards Barry Lawrence. He mistimed it badly. Turns around, recovers, puts in the back. No free. Stepped up by Breen. He puts a shot at goal. Off it's offline for one point. Oh, Huge crowd here at the MCG. Loving this, even though it's not what you'd call the best of games. 4 11 to 6 12. That would have been a handy goal. Oh, yes. Stewart is in the centre. Carl is playing to great learn. disciplined football, Ted. Yes, they're applying the pressure all the time, not allowing any latitude towards any of the St Kilda players. Hard tackling. Kevin Hall's kick out from full back. Big Nick in front, Minot from behind. Robinson in the van now at the moment, picks up the ball, handballs to Crane. 
Crane taps the ball back to Robinson who can't gain possession. Ian Stewart. Stewart goes for the short one to Travis Pays, who has marked. 35 to 40 yards out on a slight angle. And he wasn't that a lovely tap by Dittrich to Stewart. Now here's the siren as Travis Pays about 50 to 55 yards out on an angle. You'll see it in just one second. Coming up with the kick and it could be a terribly important goal. All right, top line. One behind. Well, that's it. At half time here in the preliminary final at the NCG, we find the scoreboard readings in Kilda 4 12 to Carlton 6 12. The siren goes. Umpire John Jolly moves in, bouncing the ball, starting the third quarter of the preliminary final between St Kilda and Carlton. Up they go. And we find Quirk of Carlton pouncing on the ball, but he loses possession. But he's well shivered there by uh, Robertson. And here's a chance for Manzi to come through for St Kilda. He's dragged. The whistle goes. Manzi's free kick. He's on the wing position on the member stand side. St Kilda in this third quarter will be kicking to the scoreboard end. They're trailing down a couple of goals. Down up she goes. No mark to Mackay. Taken by Stephen Ray. Drives down forward. They come out to meet it. Here's a go now. A chance for Cowboy Neal, who's up in the forward pocket. That's why I hesitated. He opened up at centre-half back. A oh, difference comes through there. Out. They come in hard. And the result, a free kick that's going Carlton's way. Why did you say turn it up, Well, Teddy? it was against Big Carl, who just forced his way through the pack. Nothing deliberate at all. No free kick. Right. Down it comes. Minot goes up there in front. Oh, he's playing Minot. Things are getting a bit testy out there in the opening minutes of the third quarter. Well, it wanted to, mate. Lawrence gave the lead. You saw it there. Might not takes his kick now up towards the goal square. The big men move in from there. Cowboy Neal. Big Carl comes through there. A chance for Wake to clear. Wake tries a hand pass out here to Gallagher. Gallagher of Carlton forces it out to the half-back flank on the member stand side. Minot cleverly knocks it away. Travis Pace comes in there. He's got possession. What's he going to do with it? In the shadows, he kicks up to the forward pocket on the member stand side. Barry Gill got his hands to it, but it was over the line. There'll be a throw-in. In the forward pocket for St Kilda on the member stand side. There she goes. Carl gets in front, but Big John gets a tap down. That goes here to Gallagher. He forces his way through the pack. Kicks it in towards the centre of the MCG. Players over on the ball. Crosswell has it. A long hand pass by Crosswell. A chance for Ian Stewart. Stewart is now playing in the centre. Moves around. Here's a pass from Stewart. It's a beautiful pass to Manzi. Oh, nice mark too. Manzi is on the half forward flank on the member stand side. There's his kick going down forward. They come out to meet it. Knocked away, however, by Kevin Hall, who's playing a great game there at full back for the Blues. Been a very good move of Barassi to switch him to full back. I take it he's still at full back. You never know with these coaches. Nichols again to Gallagher. Gallagher back to the wing position on the member stand side. Minot goes up there. Has the ball knocked away from him. The ball taken here by Quirk of Carlton. Quirk a long one down. Jesselinko comes out with Murray. They go up block together. Jesselinko recovers. Puts his left foot into it. Jackson comes in there. Oh, a go. oh not five. Jones to Thornley. Thornley snaps one behind. Good right. thinking from Big Jones then, yes. Butch. That now gives Carlton a 13 point lead. Very handy one too. In the first few minutes of this third quarter. And you notice the big men are starting to uh, take part in the game more than they did in the first half, Butch. Yes, I think they're starting to find the uh, where that wind is, is, is taking the ball and positioning themselves a lot better. Still not a high standard game, but it's a pretty tough affair. I think Jolly's been a little uh, hard on Dittrich. The kick in towards the flank, up they go, no mark, taken away nicely by Trot, kicked out towards his own wing position, Chandler races through, tackled by Breen, hand passes nicely to Mackay, Mackay tackled, but gets the kick in it towards centre half forward, Thornley in there, tries to punch the ball away, McIntosh down towards Jessalink, oh, oh, Murray, yes, free Murray kick. Holden will get the free. Kicking in danger, Mike, uh, Butcher. That would have thought, Ted, I yes. would have thought holding the man. Thanks for your help, Ted. Anyhow. He's got the free kick. Slide hint of kick a bad Cameron. one for Murray in towards the centre of the ground. In goes Travis Pays, couldn't hold it. Down it comes to Jackson. Jackson goes for the long one, gets under it a little, in towards the pocket. Out they come, there was a chance for Colling. It's down to Jones. Jones at goal, and he's put it through. It's a handy one. 
four minutes into the third quarter, and that's the second one to Peter Jones. That's a handy goal to Carlton. It's a very handy lead, which. Oh, it's a beauty now, Ted. And it's a bit of very low scoring affair, this. And that's a big lead. Carlton playing much more as a team. In they go. Nichols hits out over towards Quirk. Tackled by Gallagher. And Gallagher steps around, gets his kick in. In towards centre half forward. McIntosh. Rushed aside there. Croswell. Croswell hand passes in towards. Playing playing out to Jackson. Jackson has the ball now. Onto his left boot. Goes for the big kick. Jones is sitting underneath with Jezelenko. Tapped down. Daryl Griffiths for St Kilda. Kicks it back to the centre. Players jostling for the ball. Sergio Silvani picks it up. Oh, it's a blind kick. Gary Quayne Crane's underneath it. Jimmy O'Day also. Down to the ground it comes. Coming out of Stewie Trot. He was held and will take the free kick. Stewie Trot, number seven, the St Kilda winger. Playing a fair game too. Carlton player down here well behind the players at Jezelenko. As Trot's kick up to the middle. Yes, Jezelenko. Yes. Stewart there, Ian Stewart. Let's clarify that he wasn't down behind play. He's down uh, behind play with uh, it's like a some bad leg. leg trouble. Now Stewart has the ball at centre half forward. Couldn't kick the distance, but he's passing to Lawrence. Oh. Lawrence leads and oh. punched away by Hall. Over here towards Crane. He snaps it up, races through there, kicks right across the ground. Jackson in good position. The ball beats him though. And he tackles O'Day. O'Day to McIntosh and O'Day has a free kick. Oh, yes, against him. Against I thought you were going to say to him, Butch. Jackson to take it. Jessalenko limping up there on the forward line. A beautiful Badly. kick from Jackson. Jones comes out to meet it and Jones is marked. Jessalenko doesn't look too good. Player on the mark is Colling. Jezelenko still limping in the square. Jones is a good way out, but his kick's a good goal, this uh, fellow. He's kicked two, two, uh, down to the Richmond end. It's on its way. Oh, this is a shocker of a kick. Minot comes in there, picks up the short one. A tackle by Jezelenko. Kick goes out towards the flank on the outer side, taken by Trot. There's a 15-yard penalty against Thornley. There's now Trot to take this free kick from the half-back line. He's pretty well at the true centre-half-back position, kicking it towards centre-half forward. Up goes Dittrich with Silvani. Down onto the ground it comes. Gallagher gets it. His kick goes deep in towards the forward line. Chance here for Colling. Oh, slams Walls, and Walls will get the free. Uh, game getting a little testy now. A few little spiteful things happening. Walls is a fair way out, but it's not a bad breeze behind him. I think he paid the mark, Butch or the free? Oh, I think he paid the mark. Jezelenko tried the lead and decided to stay. In fact, I don't think he can run very far. Up they go, Big Jones in the middle of the pack, down onto the ground, he takes it again, tackled, slung. Bob Murray in there, snaps it up, hand passes nicely to Colling. Colling gets the kick out towards the flank, it's Minot going for it with Silvani and Minot mark. Minot starting to uh, have an effect on this game. Yes, he's come right into the this quarter, there's Minot now, going for the big kick down the centre of the ground, Dittrich is there, from behind Mackay, but it comes down to Robinson, Robinson handles over to Gallagher, Gallagher once down to the ground goes a little bit too far, but it's a big high kick, looking for Jezelenko from behind, he flies, but it's Jones in front play on call the umpire, City Jackson's there, City Jackson crawling on his hands and knees, they can't do anything with the ball at all, eventually it's tapped out over the boundary line in the forward pocket for Carlton for a throw in Reggie Carlton are much more sure it's in their Minot. approach to goal. Minot tipped down. Oh, oh day ran right into Jackson. Bit of a scuffle going on there. And umpire Jolly said, give it to me, it's mine. About uh, 25 yards out from the Carlton goal. Minot taps it away. There's Jones fell over. day comes in. Oh, he's running to awful trouble, but he got his kick too. A chance for McIntosh to pick up. McIntosh is being tackled, but he gets his kick up towards a weak position. It's kicked in towards the centre of the MCG. There they go. Ian Robertson comes out with the ball. Gets it across to Mackay. Mackay downfield. The and ball he... bounces awkwardly there. Will it cross well with it? He's appealing for the free kick. And he'll get it. I don't know about that. That was pretty messy, the whole affair. Now, Croswell is at centre half forward. He'd be 60 yards out at least. Good 60 yards. Jezelenko still in the square. Oh, it looks he good. It easily. Looks good. 
One point. Oh, God, gee, that looked good in transit. Got the distance, Dad, but that cross breeze didn't help him. Playing a Four, great 12 game. to 7, 14, and we're nine minutes into the third quarter. Cross will play very well today in this prelim. Well, Carlton have far better players, really, than St Kilda. St Kilda have a lot of players down. Bobby Murray now, which way is he going to kick? He's going to let the kick towards the grandstand side. It's a drop kick. Dittrich is sitting underneath it. He misses the mark. Down it comes to McIntosh. McIntosh tries to pick it up, kicks it off the ground. It runs over the boundary line. The boundary umpire, oh, this has gone over boundary umpire. McIntosh still in possession. Picks up, goes for the drop kick right down, looking for Breen. Oh, but it's Mackay, the centre-half back. He plays on the ball to Nichols. Nichols out to Kevin Hall from full back. Oh, big kick down the forward line. Jezelenko's waiting for it. Over to Jones. Jones runs into the open spaces. What has he done? He's put it through for another one to Carlton. Good football by Carlton. Well played, Kevin Hall. Right from the full-back position. That's Peter Jones's third goal. Playing very confidently now, Carlton. Teaming very well. 4-12 to 8-14. They've got a four-goal, two-lead. And we're only ten minutes into the third quarter. All Carl, all St. Killer defenders up, Butch. Nobody waiting down. True. In they go. Minot and Nichols. Or Nichols tackled very solidly there. Down to Manzi. Walls a chance. Over to McIntosh. McIntosh at centre-half back. Has scrambles. He's kicking. In fact... This is the reason Carlton are playing so well. They're not allowing St Kilda to kick the ball. This is in no man's land. Picked up by Robertson. Robertson hand passes neatly to Mulcair. Mulcair, bad kick. Puts it, screws it out of bounds in the forward pocket. Yes, it was good football by Carlton. The doctor out to Jezelenko. And they're playing See there well at the top. end of the square. It's a throw in now. Jones, Dittrich and Walls there. Dittrich in front, down to Walls. Walls has scragged around the neck and will take the free kick from up by a jolly. Who said too high, fella? He'd be 45, 50 yards out, Walls. He He's hurries his shot. kick. Goes for the big one. It's offline. It gets a lot of distance, but it's offline. Oh, there's a mark by Croswell. Croswell plays on. Looking for Jones and found him. Oh, they're cutting some to the pieces now. Jones no more than... 15 to 16 yards out of goal, directly in front. Kick three already. Two players on the mark. Dittrich walks away at the last moment. Right in front, Peter Jones. Kick three goals. He runs in, kicks. He's put it right through the middle. That's his fourth. He's and kicked a... three in this quarter, Teddy, and we're 12 minutes into the third quarter. Very handy lead, Mike. Oh, yes, no wish to brag, but I did mention last night that Jones will improve his game. Well, he certainly has uh, played very well up to this stage, Meyer. Which... Well, that doesn't make you any genius, because he, he had to improve on his previous performance. It's it's obvious being to me, back. would not go as poorly again. Good play by Croswell, that little short kick, because he was on an impossible angle. There's a centre bounce from Jolly. Tapped away by Dittrich. Ditch it, tap, taps it down. Picked up by uh, St Kilda. Through the agency of Moran. Out to the half forward line. Rossi Smith and Barry Giller there. In comes uh, Stephen Ray for St Kilda. Goes looking for Neil. Neil takes a mark. A beautiful pass. And a beautiful lead which was on it beautifully. Got a very acute angle though. Over Over 20 yards out. Cowboy Neil. Switch to full forward it looks like. Out of the forward pocket. Neil comes in. Goes for the drop punt. It looks pretty good, but the umpire has said it's mine. It's one point. A costly miss, but on a very difficult angle. One point to St Kilda. 4-13 to 9-14, Carlton. 5-1 in front. It's not a bad lead. Ball about to be kicked in by Kevin Hall. Looks Jeez, as if he'll play well, out of flank. He has done very well. 13 and a half minutes into the third quarter. Oh, another glorious kick from Kevin Hall. Not so wide to the flank this time. Cowboy Neil knocks it away. Crane up Carlton picks up. He's scragged there by Stewart. Oh! Robertson trying to kick off the ground. He's in a bit of trouble there. And umpire Don Jolly says, I'll bounce it. It's in a half forward for St Kilda. There's the bounce of the ball. They go in for it. Dittmans gets a tap down here. Trot comes through but can't handle the situation. Take it by Crane. Crane up Carlton now. Oh, Jackson on the wing position. Quickly back here to uh, Crosswell. Crosswell, an enormous kick down forward. Jessalenko there, yes! And he's paid it. Got to pay it. Got a bad leg, this fella, yes. too. You can see the limp on him. 
He looks very concerned. Mm, tremendous effort. He's only kicked one, you know. I think he's kicked about one five. One goal, five behinds, Jesselenko. He's about 35 yards out. He's on a slight angle. Up he comes now. Oh, he's missed this one too, I think. Oh, well, may have swung around. Through. Yes. By oh, golly, that was heading to the behind post. Oh, for all my, yeah, for the behind post. And the wind brought that around, Butch. It, it did too. Well, that's it? a six style one lead now. And what a lead. Oh, it's a big lead, Teddy. St Kilda players will certainly have to uh, pull their finger out a little bit. Pull their socks up, you name it. But that's a very big lead at this stage into the third quarter. Look at the centre congestion. Not playing like a team. Just have a look at the centre. There's the bounce. Try and pick the players here. Jones to Moran. Moran gets the ball down. Thornley's in there. A heap of players. The ball's still on the deck. Picked up by Dittridge. Dittridge down to Lawrence. Lawrence can't mark. He's punched away. But up by a jolly. Has given a free kick to Lawrence. You agree with it? Yes, I think so. He was pushed from behind. Coming from Ted Whitten. Barry Lawrence. Oh, he's a heck of a way out. Hasn't kicked a goal yet. It comes, it's on its way. Oh, this is a beautiful kick. He stuck it right through the centre. It's a glorious kick. They needed that one. I did, Michael. That was 70 yards if it was an inch. Oh, it was. I just checked it out the distance from where he kicked it, trying to use that 10 yard square as a margin, and it was a very big kick, I can tell you, and dead straight. They want more of them. 513 to 1014. But have a look at that congested centre. Oh, the a... flankers of both sides, they're not playing in position at all. Have a look. None. In they go. Dittridge tries to grab it, kicks it high up towards centre half forward. Barry feeling perfect position marks. And Jones so... is tagging Dittridge around the ground now. Or is Dittridge tagging Jones? Maybe the other way around. Up they go. Oh. It's a goal and mark. Yeah. Jackson. He got that hard. He's playing well though, isn't he? Full credit to him. Oh, bad kick though. Kicked in low day. But it goes across here to Jones. Jones back to Jackson. Carlton going forward now. Jackson a long one down. Just a link go. Nichols! Couldn't hold He's it though. He's played it. He's played it. Oh, golly. Quick. Hey? Bit quick with the whistle there. Oh, a bit quick. I'd like to see that on a big play, Mike. Oh. All right, we'll have a look at it then. Nichols is only about 12 yards out on the slightest of angles and he has popped it through. And Dittrich calling for the trainer, the centre of the ground. There's Big John. I think they're teaming well, Carlton Teddy, aren't they? Yes, they're very powerful at this stage. They've got their pickers up now. Their confidence would be very high. We are 17 minutes into the third quarter. You know, I was just thinking about it up until now. I had a feeling that St Kilda were playing poorly, you know, collectively, but I really think it's the way Carlton's playing. I think I've got to give a bit more credit to Carlton, or I must give more credit to Carlton than I have up to now. Back in the centre, the umpire is Don Jolly. The bounce of the ball takes place. The players move in for it there. It's taking a of Carlton. Carlton going forward once again. Robert Walls, yes. Yeah, they're really taking St Kilda apart in this third quarter. Walls now, down on the goal square she goes, Big Nick flies there and it's forced through, or goes through for one behind. Colling not handling those big fellas as well as he has done in the past, Michael, it's probably one of the biggest advantages they have being able to pop Jones and Nichols alternatively into that forward pocket, and it's just a bit much for Colling. There's the kick in by Murray, a good one, two out towards the flank. Up they go, no mark, down onto the ground, snapped away by Crane into Watts, full forward, Jesselenko comes out, and he's taken the mark. 30 yards out on an end. Oh, very quickly went for a length too. A bit of trouble, Jesser, I think. Yes. Now he would be about 35 yards out, and only a slight angle, a ton of goal space open to him, it's on its way. The result is put it through. That's his third, Mike, is it? Third, yes. Well, that's a seven-goal two lead now to Carlton and thoroughly deserving of it, too. Playing well-disciplined. What can St Kilda do, Butch? Ian Stewart gone back to the half-forward flank. Moran back to the centre. 
I don't know what they could do, Teddy, honestly. There's players everywhere. There's the centre bounce. Jones, Dittrich from behind. He goes for the kick. A to blind kick. Gallagher's underneath. Coming out as Ian Stewart now onto his right foot. Looking for Stephen Ray. Ray has Mark. Hot pursuit was Barry Gill, but the mark has been paid to Stephen Ray. He came down very heavily, crashed to the turf very heavily. Ray with the ball right in front of the member stand here at the MCG. He goes for the big kick, looking for the big fellows, and they're there too. But oh, it's Carlton, David Mackay, the centre half back. Not very strong all, pair of hands. Mackay, that's a punt kick. It's not a good one, but kicked out to the centre wing position. The ball will beat all players over the boundary line for a throw in. St Kilda not doing enough, Carlton well in control. A heap of players. Dittrich, Jones, Dittrich wins the knockout to Gallagher. Gallagher onto his right boot, down the centre half forward. Walls is underneath and in front. He has not paid the mark. Crane's in there, he goes to the deck. Stewie trots there. Umpire Jolly will ball it up. On the weak position on the member stand side. St Kilda really in trouble now. Jones comes in there, he gets a tap down too. Ball goes over the boundary line, it's still in the wing position, a little further up in Calvin's territory. Jones and Dittrich having a big battle in the ruck here. Jones winning down towards Jackson, a chance here for Trot, Trot tackled and will get the free, plays on. Has his kick in towards centre oh. half, forward but he's hit. Croswell on the chest on the half back line. Daryl Griffiths to a half forward flank to for St Kilda, Colling to the half back flank. Kick now, going over the centre, Silvani was there, no mark however, the players go over, Crane was under the bottom of that lot, picked up by Travis Page, he gets a hurried kick, it doesn't travel very far at all, Trotter's man handling, I think we'll get the free kick. Fair Stuart enough. Stuart Trotter. Right. Checking on these changes, Teddy has gone into the back pocket. There's the kick now, up towards centre half forward for St Kilda, Stuart tries a quick hand pass out, it goes here to Stephen Ray. He tries a left footer over. Will it come? Oh, oh plays run into a lot of trouble there. No free kick. Barry Gill for Carlton comes out. Kicks off the ground. Stewart's after it with uh, Gill. Still, they both go up. Oh. First comes in. He's run out of the way by Mulcahy's own man. There's a uh, long hand pass too. going to uh, Gill. And the free kick also going to Gill. No, Moran. Moran will it? take it. On the half forward line, I'm well out I from goal. going the other way. Well, it's a, quite a mixed up uh, incident there. Kick now from Jeff Moran down to the edge of the goal square. They set themselves. Minot's in there. A Minot will be paid the mark. 20 yards out or 15 to 20 yards out. Not very far as you can see. Only on a very slight angle. So close to being directly in front, it doesn't matter. Kicking to the scoreboard end goal. Oh, gee, don't they need this? Oh. Why not? He's put it through, right through the centre. That's another one to St Kilda. And we are 22 and a half minutes into the third quarter. It looks pretty sick from St Kilda's point of view on that scoreboard. There's still a long way to go yet, though. Oh, yes, but at the moment it looks Ooh, sick. Very sick. A long way to go, but they're not doing enough, St Kilda. Well, that's a strange move. Daryl Griffiths to the half forward flank. Good ball getter, Teddy. Yes. Now, boy, Neil's gone to the back pocket. But, oh, geez, made some changes. There's a bounce now. Nichols, Dittrich. Ball comes down. Oh, kicked off the ground. By Croswell, who eventually picks up and has another kick down to Gallagher. But, ah, oh, this time it's Lily who marked the play on. Lily gets his boot to the ball. Comes out to Travis Pays, who hasn't done anything <coughs> today. He's tackled by Thornley. Gets the ball out here. Oh, there's a surge of uh, Carlton players. Big Nick's in there, throwing his arms and legs around, but umpire Jolly will bounce it. Ted, you notice how many times a St Kilda player is doing it on his own, where every time you see a Carlton attacking the ball, they're attacking it with two and three players. Good team play. There's the ball now. Picked out this time by Crane. Crane finds Manzi. It's a wild kick to the half-forward line. This time coming out is Chan. A Chan looking for City Jackson. Oh, he's fumbled the mark. Hot pursuit is Jimmy O'Day. Jimmy O'Day has possession now. One bounce. Running along the grandstand side. Two. Over it goes. This time to Stephen Ray. Stephen Ray turns around, has a quick look. Runs in for a drop kick. Looks to the centre of the ground. Minot is there. And he's dropped the mark. But up by Jolly. Has paid it. Might oh, have paid him a free. He's had to pay him a free. Oh, it might have been a free kick, but not a mark. He didn't seem to uh, hold it too long, Mike. 
much improved footballer, Brian Minard, a good, honest player. No more than 20 yards out. See if he can do what he did only a Almost few minutes ago. Almost the identical position, perhaps a two or three yards further around into the goal face. Brian Minard, kicking to the Richmond end goal, at the uh, scoreboard end goal, rather. Turn its way. One point, he hooked it. Badness. They needed that too. A badness. Well, they don't only need that, they need some help. Six goal, one the difference. In favour of Carlton, and Carlton doing it very well. All Carlton players look very confident. Mm. Kicking to Mackay, it looks. Mackay underneath it. Taps it away from Lawrence. Coming in now is Manzi. Manzi has the ball, runs into the open goal. The ball is swinging around, but it's through for another point. Lawrence has been moved further afield. Pays, by the look of things, has gone to full forward. Made some moves. Has right? gone to the flank. Well, I don't think yeah. Alan Jones had much option. No, he had really. to do something. No, sure. every move he's made has been forced on him. Kevin Hall now kicking in. Big Nichols back on the ball. In goes Nichols, Croswell, and it's all Carlton, but it's snapped up by Smith. Smith's kick goes into the square. Up they go, and Green. Hey, Green, is it? Yep. Crikey, he came from the side and did very well to mark that. He's only about, oh, five yards out, but he's on an angle. He's kicked two at this stage of the game. Getting to the scoreboard end, number 70, Barry Green. Oh, hit the post! Hit the post! Well, Lady Luck's given him a nice bit of uh, farewell, hasn't she? I'm just about to make the same comment. It's 25 minutes gone in the third quarter. Moving in now to time off. Kevin Hall about to kick in. Looking for the short one, and he's found it too. Croswell, a beautiful lead. Brings it full forward. Brings it full forward. Paul St. Kilda. Gee, there's some moves going on here. The ball to the wing position on the outer side. There's Pays out there. And the mark going Carlton's way. Going to Ian Robertson. Well, oh, Butch, a pretty dismal quarter for the Saints. Well, we can say that again. Oh, look at this. Carlton are placing their field kicks. It. It's just tearing them to pieces. Here's the kick now in towards centre half forward. Dittrich moving and takes the easy mark. Now, he's played well, and I reckon he's been umpired out of it. There's his kick up towards centre half forward. It's all Carlton again. The guy in the middle of it, and from behind, Mulcair took the mark. He's at centre half back. Getting the kick in towards the half forward line. The Gato Day, he has sighted it very nicely. It's very difficult for these players, the sun in their eyes. And O'Day sighted it well. O'Day's gone out towards the flank. Up they go, no mark, down onto the ground. Scrambling play, Robertson, Smith, Trot, Trot, and Trot grabbed, and he'll get the free. Trot now kicking from the centre of the ground. Silvani on the mark, and his kicks a poor one in towards centre half forward, and a nice mark to Barry Lawrence. Lawrence, yes, he's obviously at centre half forward, or is he? I'll tell you what, if he kicks this, Michael, he'll be the best kick I've seen for a long while. He's a long way out. Oh, I couldn't see him kicking, and he's gone for the short one. Oh boy! Repeated against Chandler, Chandler trying to struggle with the ball and it's holding the ball against Chandler. Green it's going to Green. Oh, oh there's a penalty. Oh, they were lucky to get away with that. Very lucky. Now Green is only about 50 yards out. Oh, it's a poor kick. Not right, Crossbow. He knew at the moment he'd kicked it too, Mike. Now the kick from uh, Brent Crosswell goes to the flank position on the outer side. They fly high there. Mark the Chandler, and Chandler's on the half-back line. Kicking in towards the centre of the ground. Cowboy Neal in there, but, oh, Robert Wall stood between the two of them and took an easy one. He's playing on now, gone for the bounce. Jason killed her a rattle. In towards full forward, Bob Murray punches, but Gisalenko held it firm. What a strong one. And he's what still a got one. a bad leg. Jessa has kicked three. Well, that's yeah, three, five, I think. 
three goals, five behinds his kick, and he is 30 yards out, directly in front. He comes now. Kicking to the Richmond end goal. What's he done? But it's through. It's his fourth. And this is certainly Carlton's corner. There's no shadow of doubt about it. 6 16 to 13 15. 29 and a half minutes of the third quarter gone. Mine off back onto the ball for St Kilda. Carlton players all sensing victory now, knowing that they're well on top of St Kilda, urging each other on in the centre of the ground. Jolly comes in. He bounces the ball. Jones is in there. Minot. Minot wins the tap. Comes down to uh, Carlton through the agency of Croswell. Croswell's big kick. Murray. Jeselinko. Jeselinko has got two bites. And he's played the mark. Oh, on one leg too, Jeselinko. 40 yards out. He won't pick. What a terrible decision to be to make. You know, to when are going to take him off or leave him off and kick three goals with a crook leg. That's right. Kick four. He's kicked his crook four. leg. He's on his way in now, favouring the drop punt again, the goal umpire running across. It looks like it'll be one point. Yes, another point to Carlton. Carlton have scored seven goals in this quarter. That's a good quarter for them. That's a winning quarter, I'd say, puts the way right, they're playing. No doubt. 13-16 to 6-16, it's a seven-goal lead. If they lose this, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's happened before. It has happened before, but... Bobby Murray's still not playing like a rabble. Murray kicks out for the member stand flank. <laughs> but Carlton playing in front of their St Kilda opponents now. Crosswell coming out with the ball. Tries a hand pass over towards Jackson. Jackson's around a quick hand pass intercepted by O'Day of St Kilda. O'Day into the centre of the MCG. Silvani's waiting there. Silvani takes his kick. Well down. Jessalek goes there. He's in front. Murray goes with him. There's a struggle for the ball. Nobody able to pick it up. There'll be a ball up. A ball up about... 40 yards out, no they won't, there's a siren for three-quarter time, and Carlton sitting in the box seat. St Kilda 6-16-52, Carlton 13-16-94. This is Michael Williamson getting the welcome to the final quarter of the preliminary final at the MCG in Melbourne between St Kilda and Carlton. We go into the final quarter, we find that Carlton have a seven goals lead over St Kilda. Both teams in trouble, Griffiths came off at three-quarter time, for St Kilda, he's been replaced by Basanko and uh, Carlton lost Gould early in the match with an injured uh, calf muscle in the he was quarter. replaced by Chandler and uh, Quirk came off at three quarter time he got a knock from one of his own mates in the uh, three quarter time period or in the third quarter he's off and Hopkins is on but uh, St Kilda in real trouble Butchgale. Oh diabolical trouble, there's Silvani Carlton teaming beautifully, Jackson moves in oh look at that and down it comes to Thornley. Thornley tries to tackle Colling. It's forced through to Minot, but the free kick goes St Kilda way to, way to Ross Smith. Comment from Ted Whitten. Oh, Mike uh, Carlton well in control. St Kilda are in real trouble. They certainly have to pull their socks up to get back in the game this quarter. There's the ball now in the centre of the ground, picked up by Moran of St Kilda. Moran kicks it to Mackay. Mackay streaks down the middle of the ground, a big kick right down the middle. Sitting under his Croswell for Carl, who was marked safely on his chest, 35 to 40 yards out of goal. And what a magnificent game he's played all day, Croswell. Very good operator. Played magnificently all round the ground. Certainly up to his uh, potential. It's on its way to the scoreboard and goal, but I feel it's offline and one point will result. That's seven, seven goals, goals, one in front, right? That's exactly what I was going to say, Michael, and doing it comfortably. St Kilda look very rattled. Very rattled. They've got a few reasons to be rattled, haven't they? Yes, Ted? but they don't look to have any fire, Mike. We all thought, or I thought anyway, that Carlton would tie, but it's Carlton have been well on top. There's Bobby Murray now kicking out right down the middle of the ground with a drop kick. There's Moran in front, Mark safely on his chest. He plays on, turns around to his right boot, goes for the short one. Mackay's underneath it. Uh, Stewart's there. Stewart has been paid the mark. Ian Stewart. Last well, started off on the half forward flank, was shifted to the centre and now back on the half forward flank. Stewart puts his left foot into it, drives down forward for the Saints. They come out to meet it. Oh, Breen, a play on as a call, however. Thought it could have been Breen's mark. Here's Kevin Hall, a magnificent player for the Blues. He's done a great job at full back. He gets his kick now to the half forward flank for Carlton on the member stand side. The chance here for Crosswell again. It's close to the boundary line. In fact, it's over now. 
and uh, Temper's becoming a little frayed. Throwing takes place on Carlton's half forward flank. Nichols comes in, Minot gets a tap away, however, taken by Crane of Carlton. Crane over to Gallagher of Carlton. Gallagher a long kick down forward. Jessalenko, who's on one leg, pulled out of that encounter. Just couldn't get there quickly enough. Jessalenko's kicked uh, four or five goals on. Four goals, six. Down forward it goes. It's taken by Silvani. Silvani back into the attacking territory for Carlton, but he goes wide. A chance for Jimmy O'Day to come through. He's met by Ian Robertson. Oh, Thornley almost unloaded. O'Day butters up Thornley for Colt. Gets a hand pass to Silvani, who's waiting there. Silvani been magnificent all day. Kicks it one down forward. Jones is there. Let's it go, but it bounces awkwardly. Not through as Jones anticipated, but off at right angles and over the boundary line for a throw in in Carlton's forward pocket on the member stand side. The Blues kicking to the scoreboard end in the final quarter. Jones taps it down. Hayes on the bottom of that pack, gives it to Jackson, Jackson snaps, and it's another point to Carl. Oh, they're struggling badly now, St Kilda. Yes, no cohesion at all in their play today. Carlton are on top on each line, Butch, right across each line, they look to be in control. St Kilda have very few winners, really. Getting back to Kevin Hall, a full back for Carlton, a surprise move that he was uh, there at the first bounce. Bob Murray had his hands full there with Jessalenko. Kicks right to the centre, but Silvani's there. Well, he doesn't even contest that. Strange. But Silvani, 32 years of age, having a bit of a picnic. Kicks it down forward again. Jessalenko flew high. It comes down here to uh, Lily of St Kilda. Lily kicks it wide to the wing position on the outer side. It's going close to the boundary line. In fact, it trickles over. There'll be a throw in. Robertson and uh, Trot. Went for it, but all too late. The throw in, two number twos. Minot for St Kilda, Nichols. Nichols gets a tap down beautifully to Jackson. City Jackson up to the forward pocket. He's put it over the line on the full. Cowboy Neal. Beautiful ruck work by Nichols, Mike. He's rucked well all day, though, uh, Teddy. Hasn't been yes. spectacular, but very effective. Two magnificent final games from uh, John Nichols down to uh, Ross Smith. Smith across to Manzi here of St Kilda. Manzi better hurry up, he does so. Gets his kick, he comes right across the ground to the member stand flank. Here's a go. Young Stephen Ray drives down forward looking for Breen. Breen was under it a bit. Barry Gill of Carlton relieving the pressure. Here's kick back to the wing position on the member stand side. Manzi is there with Crane. Wade is there also. Crane comes out with the ball for Carlton. Crane now in towards centre half forward. Big Nick is waiting there. Up he goes with the ball knocked away. In comes a Smith and struggle forward to Minot. He's grabbed, too maybe high. too high. Too high. Why not to take the three in the centre of the ground? He's hurt his ankle too. He's hurt something. They've had no luck whatsoever, St Kilda, but by geez, Carlton have made it very tough for them. They've stopped them from kicking and harassed them from the go to one. As we've said throughout the year, they play business like football, Carlton. That's right. Very true. There's kick. Minot's kick now. Lee and Stewart in front of the pack. Oh, coming out from behind. Carlton, no free kick. There's Barry Lawrence doing battle with the ball now. Still playing in front. Silvani picks up. Goes for the high kick. Croswell's underneath it. Oh, he fumbles the ball. Collings there also, but Cowboy Neal comes out. Oh, hand pass it to Gary Crane. Crane goes for the quick kick to Jezelenko. Jezelenko on his own, in front, and has marked. Look at Jezelenko limping. He received a nasty uh, leg injury in the third quarter and has kicked two goals since. Well, can't be too bad because he's being left on there. And the way things are going, it'll be a Collingwood Carlton Grand Final next Saturday. And you'll be watching it, of course, through seven. Jezelenko kicks. He's gone right across goals. Oh, the mark right wins. on the line, oh. it's a quick hand pass, but uh, they come unstuck as Colin comes out with the ball for St Kilda. Now forward again, it's the old master, Silvani. Back into attack, Silvani drives him. It's in the goal square for Carlton. Jackson! Oh, as quick as a flash, he's kicked four. What a player on the half four play. With, with while saving oh. him at the tribunal, isn't oh. it? What a player. 6-16 day, to 14-18. Seven Carlton. minutes into the final quarter. Carlton well on top in all departments. Yes, a, a, a real percentage player. I've mentioned this before, Mike. Which City Jackson, who reads the pack very well. Yeah, well, they should never have gone for that one. It's, you know, it's easy to say from here. 
He should have stuck back there. Not to leave a forward with an open run into goal is a criminal offence. Would you call Jackson a grounder player? Norm Smith has a name for players like that. Oh, he's a real they, they, That's right. They read the uh, the ball coming off the pack, and they're so quick. Hopkins gets his boot to it rather hurriedly. But Silvani, who's been in everything there, couldn't quite get to it that time. Moran off St Kilda there. He's on the wing position on the outer side. Moran drives down towards centre half forward. They wait there. Up they go. William Stewart. It's his mark. No worries. Stewart. Takes his kick now down forward. Big Jones is there. Out comes Breen. Hopkins of Carlton. Can't get to it. Taken here by Ray. Ray ahead. Pass to Pace. Pace a left foot snap. He's popped it. Put it through. Long time between beats, but that was a very good goal. Eight minutes gone in the last quarter, and there's the scoreboard. Can you see Seven St Kilda coming lead. back? I can't see them oh, coming back, Mike. Need a small miracle, I reckon. No, Carlton are too strong. They've got the smell of victory, and they're moving right on with the job, attacking at all times. And all the experts in Melbourne thought that Carlton would fold after a heavy game against Collingwood last week. I was one of them, Mike. All right. I must admit I was a bit with you, and uh, by no good scale, tip uh, for St Kilda. But it's St Kilda in trouble now as Ray takes his kick down forward. Oh, it's all Carlton there as the ball is taken by Coswell. A long kick up to the forward zone. Silvani, the hero. I'd like to know how many Play kicks like he's had. Oh, this be ever. His kick down forward. Big Nick is there. Shepherd's away. Taken by Cowboy Neal. His kick is a hurried one. And the mark taken there by Trot at centre half back. Trot of St Kilda. Nowhere to kick to. He's in about eight different lines, isn't he? Out it comes Big Jones for Carlton is there. Couldn't take it. But through comes Mackay. Mackay of Carlton kicks up towards the pocket on the member stand side. St Kilda players oh, wait for it. This is a joke. Allowing Thornley to come through and forces it over the boundary line. Oh, they must have been quite Nil. They're not showing any fighting spirit at all, St Kilda. Nichols doing battle with Minoff. Nichols taps it down to Crane. Crane gets his kick in. Jess Lingo in front. Taps Whoa! it down. Jackson puts it an open goal again. That's his fifth. Well, oh, I love the down by Jess Lingo. Silly Jackson. Ten what minutes of the final quarter gone. A beautiful game from a half forward flank. Full credit to Jackson. Combines very well with his teammates. He's always on the move, running into the goal, and has kicked five. Great play by Carlton. Beautiful tap out by Jess Alenko. Aren't they playing with confidence, Teddy? They're right on top. Trot of St Kilda now comes through with the ball. Sends a long one down. Breen's there. Paul is the doing battle with him. Breen comes out with the ball. He's in a bit of trouble. He's dragged high. Gets the free. Now he's on an angle. He's kicked two, Breen. Just see the end of the square. Oh, plenty of goal space open to him. Oh, I think he could easily kick it. And he comes, kick to the Richmond end goal. It's swinging round. The goal umpire indicates one behind. Well, that's about their last chance, I think. Yes, Carlton looked like going in against Collingwood in the grand final. Reeves kick Hall. two goals, six. Two, six. Very professional approach to this game, Carlton. And I mean, this is the thing when you're tipping before a game starts, you've always got a tendency to forget this. That Carlton make it very hard for sides to beat them. They make it difficult for players to get their kick, and they work at this collectively. There's Mal Care, Croswell. Croswell, an outstanding performer today. Scrambled it over to Gallagher. Gallagher gets the left foot kicking towards the centre wing. Oh, beautiful <laughs> punch over here towards Robertson. He scoots through there, tackled solidly by Lawrence. Gets around onto the left foot, back onto the right foot now. And he's fiddling around, oh. short passing. And there's a nice pass too to far, Brown, but he's run too far. Free kick will go back to Barry Lawrence at centre half forward. Good long way out from goal. He's practically in the centre of the ground. Lining up. Not a bad kick though, Butch. He could put this way down. It is a good kick too. Almost to the edge of the goal square. They fly. No mark. Down it comes here. Picked up by Breen. Breen swings around. It'll be a hurried kick. And it could be offline too. It's forced through for one behind. It's not going to do them any good. Although Breen certainly been one of their better performed players today. On the forward line, yes. He has been one of the only forwards. 
to do anything worthwhile, really. They want goals, not points. Oh, Carlton dictating the play. Every move that Jeans has made, Carlton have forced them into it. There's a chance for a mark to Gallagher, and he's taken it. Got it pretty hard. He's marked at centre half back for Carlton. Going for the short one, out towards the flank, a chance for Big Jones. It's over the top of him. Now it's uh, Robert Wall slipping over, hand passing to Jones, oh, back right. in again, and it's passed in towards centre half for Hopkins. Mark. He hand passes to Thornley, Thornley races through. Oh, they're tearing to the pieces. There's Jackson again. Oh, Dell, he went. No mark to Nichols. They're wrestling away. Neil kicks it off the ground. Pushes it out towards the boundary line. Jimmy O'Day racing for it. Jackson after him. He's right on the boundary line on the half-back line. The kick goes towards centre wing. Ball punched up, straight up in the air. Trot has it. He's ducking and weaving. And drag. And it's going to be holding the man. Jack Hill, the blind miner, mate. Oh, Jack Hill, the blind miner, could see that one, Teddy. Is that a, yeah, somebody uh, mentions this year. Oh, 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 when he was going to get a Guernsey. On the centre wing position, Stewie Trump. Still a huge crowd here at the MCG for this preliminary final. In walks Dittrich, tries for the mark. It's down here to Gallagher. Gallagher slips over, gets up. And look at them wrestling behind the play. Good shepherding there, allows oh, the pass lovely. to hit. Ian Robertson, right on the chest. Gee, they've gone well right across the centre. They've gone well everywhere, Carlton. Kick now from Robertson to the half forward. Flank on the outer side. McIntosh went up high, but I think the wind tricked them all. Gallagher tries to kick off the ground. McIntosh picks up. McIntosh, a hand pass here to uh, Moran. Moran now into the centre. The ball bounces awkwardly there. The players come in for Chandler trying to pick it up. He still can't pick it up. It goes past Nancy. Big Carl comes in. Almost unloads Chandler. Taken by Thornley. Thornley of Carlton now. Drives one wide here. This has come off. Payne has marked. Payne is on the half forward flank on the member stand side for Carlton. Up he comes. There's his kick. It's off the side of his boot a trifle. The big man, or little man, actually fly. Taken by Murray. Murray now. Back to that half back flank. Payne went up high. Couldn't pull the ball in. Here's a race now. Oh, good. Well, done. taken by Jones. Jones, a short one here to Robert Walls. Robert, Robert Walls, another short one to Jessalenko, who led beautifully. Oh, their foot passing has been beautiful. Yes, they're doing more with the ball, Butch. Much it? more. Ted, I picked it early, really. Jessalenko. So the field kicking's been tremendous. He's kicked four goals. Oh, he'd be 60 yards out here. It's on its way. It's swinging. One point. It's the first time in a final series we've seen Jezelenko try the torpedo, possibly because of the distance he was out of goal. He's kicked four goals, seven, Jezelenko. It's 11 kicks for a full forward. It's not a bad effort. A lot He's of road. on one leg for half the game. That's right. He's had plenty more kicks, but uh, actual shots for goal. Yeah, the shots, that's right. To. Well, Mike, a, lot of, a lot of rovers and ruckman don't we see that many kicks. Bob Murray now kicking out from the scoreboard end. Carlton fans must be feeling really happy at this stage. The kick now from Murray. There it goes. Out of the halfback flank on the member stand side. Down to the ground it comes. Picked up by Crane. A wide hand pass to Silvani. The old master's there. He'll get his kick all right. No worries. You can bet on that one. Across to Robert Walls it comes. Ooh. He's hit hard there by uh, Colling. Crane comes in. He's taken to the ground. The ball is scooped up by Stephen May. He's in a bit of trouble. Touches it to the ground. Kicks down towards centre half forward. It beats everybody. Kevin Hall drops a mark. A chance for Mackay. A hand pass by Mackay to Crosswell. Crosswell out of the wing position. Scooped up by Chandler, but he drops it again. He's still going. It's like a cow with a cup of tea. Eventually gets it across here to Hall. Kevin Hall, the magnificent, kicks it down to centre half forward. But the mark is taken in the fence by Jimmy O'Day. Butch Gale. Oh, Jimmy O'Day at centre half back. The shadows creeping across the ground here. Just over the halfway mark in the last quarter. His kick goes out towards Green. Green is well out from goal. Snapped up nicely. Gets a left foot kicking towards the centre half forward position. They all fly down as Stewart. Stewart snaps a goal. Intercepted by Brian Gill. <coughs> down it comes here to Moran. Moran in trouble. And he's holding the ball. But it's play on. Hall. Out towards the flank to Gallagher. Gallagher and Smith. Down to Hopkins. Hopkins on the centre wing. Hand passes nicely. Over to Ian Robertson. Robertson not in fiddling around with it now. Gallagher. Kicks the ball deep up towards Jimmy O'Day. Oh! Behind was Jackson. Couldn't hold the mark. Chance for Robert Walls. He scoops to Jackson. Jackson's kick goes in towards the forward pocket, but it's smothered. 
over the line for throwing. Lawrence back to full forward, Green to centre half forward uh, for St Killer. This is the uh, second time this has happened. And 17 and a half minutes of the final quarter gone. That's a throw in now, Dittrich is uh, buying for the ball, Big John comes in, handballs it over to Teddy Hopkins, Hopkins runs into the open goal, puts his boot to the leather, but it's off target, and out of bounds it will go for another throw in the forward pocket, right underneath the scoreboard. Carlton really on top, attacking all the time, and not allowing St Kilda into the game at any stage. Since half time I would say, really, Jones gets a tap from behind, but umpire Jolly has picked the free kick. Mine up will take it. Number two in your screen. Big Eight minor. goals, one down, St Kilda. And playing like it too. Big leeway to make up, which... Oh, it's too much. Minot comes in. Goes for the kick up the middle. That's the shortest way home. Silvani is there. He's in front. Misses the ball. It comes down. Dittrich taps it out. Kicked off the ground there by St Kilda. Oh, Mackay there has it to Croswell. Croswell up to the centre of the ground. Jackson in front. Recovers very quickly. Has a bounce. Misjudges the ball. Kicked off the ground out to Manzi of St Kilda. He misjudged it also. Silvani. <laughs> Silvani has about his 30th kick for the game, I would say. Out on the full, unfortunately. And a free kick going to St Kilda. Cowboy Neil has it. He plays on. Goes for the big kick. There's big Carl Dittrich there. Comes to the ground. Stephen Ray's there. He's stripped, but no free kick. Silvani, Silvani again. again. Has another kick. It's a hurried one. Damn Up to the forward kick. line. St Kilda players there everywhere. Minot comes out with the ball. Forces his way through the pack with a hurried kick down. And sitting underneath it is Robert Walls. McIntosh. Umpire Jolly has hey. blown his whistle to Robert Walls. Look, the way Nichols and Savani have played in the final series, I don't know whether they've got any pet pills for elderly gents at Carlton, but if they have, I'd like to get hold of a fistful they've of them. done very well, Mike. Oh, magnificent. Up they go. Big Jones is there. No mark of ever taken by Minot. Minot and St Kilda out to the half forward flank. On the member stand side, McIntosh is there, but it's knocked away by Waite. Waite is after that ball, but he can't get to it. It's kicked away by Manzi. Manzi gets his kick, and it's a short one. It's a high one. I wouldn't like to be under it. Robert Walls comes in. Couldn't pull the mark in. The dive's on top of it. Hand pass it out to Thornley. Thornley now. A rather laconic sort of kick up for Jones is waiting there, but Cowboy Neal takes the mark in the fence. The funny one, Michael, John Nichols has gone to the bat pocket and put weight on the ball. Now, uh, the kick will have to be taken again as the player crowded in from the kicking yards, area. 15 yard penalty, 15 yard, Jolly's right Sorry. on the job. He's Hopkins. been right up with the game. And the ball taking plenty of time to come back. It looks as if Jolly will have to get it. Big chance of Jolly getting the grand final on this performance, Teddy, which is Well, say? he's done very well, but the game hasn't been that hard to umpire, I wouldn't think. Not like last Saturday's game. Kick now. It's going the wing position on that outer side. They fly high for it. It's Crosswell. What a player he's been, Mike. Crosswell oh. now driving the Blues forward again. It's up to the goal square almost. Cowboy Neal is there. He comes out with the ball. He's going a bit of a run, a left footer by the Cowboy, out here towards uh, Colling it looks like, he can't control the ball at all, Sergi Sergio Silvani into Jackson and Jackson is oh, look at this, look at this Carlton players everywhere yeah, the you know, played uh, excellent team football Carlton backed up, they've really done it coolly and Just calmly go. short one and it's punched away, down to McIntosh Jan Seifer he held the Lilly, ball, and it looks as if it could be holding the ball, yes. Walls races on into an open goal, he shoots. Oh, he's put it through. It's a sausage ride. Carlton in devastating form. 16 goals, 19, 105, St Kilda, or 115, St Kilda, 7, 18, 60. That's Robert Wall's second goal for the match. That's Big Jones who's been a handy player for Carlton. 21 and a half minutes gone of the final quarter. It was Jones who started the rot, I can tell you that. Really? Yes, when he right. kicked three goals in within 12 minutes in the uh, third, third quarter, quarter, which he started the rot. Wasn't much in the game up until then. 21 and a half minutes gone in the last quarter. Huge big crowd here. Getting a bit restless now, but in goes Minot. Misses it, doesn't get it cleanly. It's punched again over towards Croswell. Croswell, the star of the day. Hand passes. Has a chance for Thornley. Thornley gives it to Mackay. Nichols oh, over the floor. To White. White gets a kick up towards Jackson. Jackson moves through. Couldn't mark. McIntosh took it right out of his hand. McIntosh plays on. Kicks out towards the flank, but Hopkins moves through. Tackled by Pays. He hand passes to Thornley. It's a long one, and Thornley misjudged it. 
Thornley now off, oh, battling around very nicely. Short passes to Jackson, and Jackson props. Ooh. And he'll take the kick from dead in front, but 60 yards out. Is he going, Mike? Oh, no. No, I don't no. think he was going. He's like with a kick list, you know. He's kicked five. It's a perfect like opportunity. to put this right through. It's a drop kick. It's a beautiful drop kick. He got the distance, but his accuracy was shocking. And it's out of bounds on the full in the forward pocket. Cowboy Neal to take it for St Kilda. Gee, he's been one of the star players. Jackson five from the flank. Cowboy Neal with the ball. Kicks out the other side. There's Croswell there from behind. It has marked the game. You've got a day he's had, Teddy. Tremendous. Well, everybody uh, is aware that he's got the potential. He's produced it here today. Crosswell down to the goal square. Jones from behind. Cowboy Neal in front. It's over the boundary line before Gallagher can get to it. There'll be a throw in in the forward pocket for Coleman. Or he may have paid a mark to Cowboy Neal. Well, I thought I gave him some chance of uh, doing that. Right, Neal now. Coming along the member stand flank. Here it is. They move in. The big pack of players fly for it. No mark. A ball taken by Crane of Carlton. Crane drives in towards centre half for Jackson. Yes! Oh! Jimmy O'Day looks disgusted, but James, my boy, nobody could have stopped Sydney from getting that. Oh. Well, he certainly performed brilliantly here today on the half forward flank, a most difficult area to play in, and he has done very well. Now here's his kick. It looks as if it's like for the That's his six. Six goals from the half forward flank, not a bad effort. They're right? match winners, Butch. They're match winners. And as I've said before, a real percentage player. If you can have half forward flankers kicking your goals, you're in business. One or two anyway, but when you get them kicking six, you've got a real side. Ten goals, one in front. That's Cal. not a bad effort in the last quarter. I remember offering Sid Jackson a cigarette about four weeks ago. He said, no, I'm offering until after the grand final because I want to show Victorian people that I can play well in a final series. Fair enough, well, he's Tommy. turned it on today. Certainly has. There's Big John forcing his way through the pack, surging. It runs over the line with the ball. <laughs> Couldn't care less, eh? Hey, what's he going to do here? Deliberate. He's going to give a free kick. He's going to give a free kick against Nichols for deliberately running out. Well, now, I'll that's a what, most unusual decision, Ted. Very unusual. But well, I think he was right because we all laughed about that here. Oh, yeah, well, fair. pretty hard to define, though. Oh, you... Now, Butch, we he all laughed. He made no effort to keep it in play. There's Grant's it. kick. It's one, one point. point. Well, there's no doubt he made no effort to keep it in well, play, I've... but the, the rule is if he deliberately puts it out. I thought he was running with the ball. Hard to define. Very hard to pull up at that stage. Well, what did you laugh for then? Oh, well, it just looks so awkward, oh, so funny. Oh, stop squaring off just there's because no you're bigger on him. <laughs> Kevin Hall now. Kicks out from the full-back position down the rich and then out to the outer side. Oh, plays went up, couldn't quite pull it in. Wade's got the ball, he's getting plenty of buffeting. Through comes Gallagher, he can't go anywhere with it. There could be a ball up on the half-forward fake. Now it's called play on there, and the ball is eventually forced over the boundary line, and there'll be a throw. It's on the outer flank. Theodore is on for St Kilda. In they go, Dittrich hits down, over the top went Wade. Croswell got a slap right in the face there for that effort. And Jackson's marked the guy. She was his playing in front. Beautiful position play, look at that. Glorious kick and yes, so that goes breaking out now. He's such a dangerous kick, though, this fellow. There's nothing of him, and yet he quick boots the ball over 60 yards. That's right. It's a lot of distance, Butch. Well, Jess is a good 65 yards out. Kicking up to the scoreboard end. It's on its way. It's not a bad kick. One point results, however. Cheese kicks him behinds today. How many? Eight behinds. Four goals, eight. Right, it's a lot of kicks. 17 20. If you're looking at it this way while well, he's got it, the opposing backman haven't. Well, apart from that, Mark, I'm not forgetting that he's been on one leg for, I'll say, more than half of the game. I'd, oh. like, to, I'd like to know what kicks uh, the Carlton forward line have had collectively yes. today. It'll be amazing. Bob Bobby Murray, Murray, under tremendous pressure, this fellow, oh. and fumbles the kick in. Moran uh, saved it for him now. Kicks in towards the centre. Robertson, Chandler. Chandler just steps through there easily, passes the ball deep out to the flank, and the mark will be taken, or the free kick to Gally. Free kick, old pick, Butch. And he's got the cramp, I think. Almost 27 and a half minutes of the final quarter gone. Yes, well, it's a cramp, all right. Rusty Smith, a very disappointed boy. 
There's some big name players that haven't fired today. Yes, well, it's hard to define, isn't it, Ted? Carlton have taken 76 marks to St Kilda's 46. Well, there you are. That tells its own story. Yeah. There's it's Hopkins Gallagher. leading, but he's ignoring it. Gallagher going for the long one. Puts his boot into a tough line. It's out of bounds. Out on of the fall. bounds on the fall, and the kick in will be taken by St Kilda's Bob Murray. And let's put this down on record. What a coaching tribute. Well, what a tribute, rather, to Ron Barassi's coaching that Carlton have come out and played as well as this, Teddy. You're Tremendous a Tremendous effort. There's no worries in the world about that, Mike. I gave him up. A great Tackle there, Stolid Lee, and we'll get the free. He's got a cramp. Well, it's been a pretty torrid day here at the MCG, and it's any wonder these boys are tired and cramping. Hand passes to Dittrich. Dittrich kicks it towards the centre. Up goes Hopkins from behind Smith, but Smith is marked. Russ Smith, a very disappointed and killed a captain as he gave them a big chance of winning this game last night here's well, the kick so did everybody Butch they set themselves Breen in front Mackay from behind taken by Chandler Chandler now gets his kick out towards the wing position on the outer side it's a mark the walls yes got to be paid Robert Walls at Carlton Gee, it's hard to find a weak Carlton player isn't it yes and every line has got good players Walls now, kicks up over centre half forward, nobody able to hold the mark, Gallagher comes in there, O'Day's after him, Gallagher shipped it by Jesson Lenko, kicks down to the goal, Jackson, Jones here. Jackson comes in again, Jackson off the ground, but I think it's a behind, well what's happened? Free kick to Jones, free kick here, free kick to Jones, yes he was held, we had a, a shot of that today, he was yeah. being held, Peter Jones is uh, booted four up until now, well, Carlton are 10 goals, one in front, and they're 28 minutes gone. And Pasenko is on for St Kilda. There's uh, Don Barassi there, right in the middle of that. You can see the, uh, the old nut stuck up. Jones from 20 yards out, kicks one behind. Being a bit nasty. Get off him, Al. There might be a lip reader watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too rapt. Look at that score, will you? A glorious victory to Carl. 38 shots to 16. Bob Murray now kicking out again from the scoreboard end. Time slipping away. 30 minutes of the final quarter gone. Murray's kick, not a particularly good one. Ball taken there by Manzi. Manzi coming up to take his kick. Not a bad one. Down towards centre half forward. They fly oh. high. Look who it is. Crosswell. Be interested to see how many marks and kicks he's had. Crosswell now. Down towards the centre half fourth position. It swings off out towards the flank. It's taken by Jackson, but he loses it. Gets oh. one in the back, hooks it around cleverly. O'Day of St Kilda's there. O'Day is tackled by Ian Robertson. Ian Robertson dives on top of it, but he's given away a free kick to Jimmy O'Day. The siren goes. It's Carlton into the grand final. 1970, there's Ron Barassi. And look at him rubbing his hands as if to say, well, we're there, and now for next week. Collingwood and Carlton will play off for the 1970 flag. Preliminary final, final scores. St Kilda, 7-19, 61. Carlton, 17-21, 123.